Did that really just say what I thought it said? I, I didn't catch the last part of it. But the tragedies around the world. What's that got to do with anything? I just cannot with people. Good morning, Miss Rookie Fox. First good morning, snack. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Tammy Stewart. Good morning. Funny. I thought you were going to look for the comment now. No, 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 no. It's, I think it was a... Lana, good morning, honey. I think it was a reply Good morning, Del else. Barajas. Barajas. Headed to work. Cheers. How we feel inside? Cheers. Dead. Just no, kidding. I feel heartful. I feel love. The heartful? I feel heartful. I love that you took the pink one. Good morning, Sandra. Good morning, Maria Outlaw Snack. Oh. No fun. Leaving the house in the morning is no fun. That's Lana, tough. Lana's getting ready for sleep. We're waking up. Night, getting yes. ready for sleep. Lana, I'm never going to remember, <sighs> babe. But I know who you are. Morning, coffee girl. <laughs> Good morning, Nicole. Did I miss a coffee girl? Oh, there it is right there. Good morning, coffee girl. Something's Ooh. missing. Building that empire. I'm right here. I know. It's the music. Anna wants to know what our plan is. Uh, let's see. Today, today we're going to spend a little time with you fine people. And then we're going to have work. Good morning, Miss Melissa Smokulet. She wants to know what the plan for the live is, honey. Oh, you want to know what the plan for the live is? This morning's live is uh, a little bit of mindset. Some of the non-negotiables that we deal with in our lives. Um that have helped us on our journey and hopefully will help everyone else. You're not awake yet, are you? I'm wide awake. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what you're, are you putting on the TV? Is that what you're doing? You're putting yeah. on some music? I'm putting on music. Got it. I could just barely see you in your camera because your camera is so dim on your phone. Does anybody else go to bed at night and their house is freezing and then you wake up in the morning Love you, and Anima. it's burning up hot in here? <laughs> Thanks for sharing the live, coffee girl. What's up, sunflowers and vodka? Good, good morning, morning Jamie. Not parents. Or good morning, parents. I knew I forgot to do something. This was definitely what I forgot was music. Ugh. That's what it was. You didn't hear the music. Thanks for the follow, oh, Joyce Lynn. Something is missing for sure. Thanks for sharing it out, Boo Boo Kitty. Boo Boo Kitty strikes back. Good morning, Alicia. Thank you, Del. But ahas, this is a uh, Tommy Bahama. Jess made me get because I liked it so much, and she made me buy it a couple of months ago. Ooh, good. It's too early for that. It's too early. For Drinking that. a little coffee. We got coffee. Cheers. We both got coffee. Way I'll cheers. Too early for that. There That's you go. It. Cheers for coffee in the morning. Little, little uh, lo-fi Mickey and Minnie this morning. That'll work. Lo-fi Mickey and Minnie. It sounds good. Lo-fi Disney this morning. There's seven, only seven small <laughs> Corey Fawcett says, mindset top, top, top topic. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm sorry. Disney non-negotiables. <laughs> Disney non-negotiables. I love it. Thank you for the ice cream cones, Miss Brookie Fox. Okay. Where did you get the Jack Pillow, babe? Um, my daughter picked those mm. up for me, and I'm not sure if they were um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. You just told no, me I it just had to be. Wanted in you to lean out. Look, I got the frame. I got two sets. Are they cute? They're so cute. <laughs> Silver and white, good morning, Brittany, good morning. Okay, we're about to get started. Let me turn. I just saw somebody was getting ready for breakfast at the Tusker house. That sounds delicious. Oh, my God. Oh, I was like, it's 6.50. Oh, yeah. Okay, hi. You're uh, getting ready. Getting ready. I know, but I'm just like, <laughs> it seems so early. I don't know why. I think I stayed up too late last Carla, night. Carla, thanks for the <laughs> ice cream cones. Okay, you guys. What comfy pants do you have on? Uh, these are in my Amazon storefront. They're... Um, they're Amazon pants. I have two colors because they're really comfortable and they have that cute little white band at the top so it makes it look like the 90s, like you got your aunt, your underwear hanging out your pants. Happy birthday, Nessa. Today's Nessa's birthday. By the way, today's uh, Nomad Nick's birthday as well. Okay, hi. Look, I need you to focus for a second. Look at me, nope. 
Look eye, look eye, Daniel. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like where... I need to talk to you. <laughs> okay, what are we talking about? Okay, remember today we have to try to do better not to talk over each other. I was doing good till you stopped me and talked over me. <laughs> and we have to do an introduction for the camera before we start talking with them. Okay. Okay. What are we doing for the camera? Oh my God. You didn't give me any He's instructions impossible. on that. I don't need to give you any instructions. Okay. It's literally just, today we're talking about the truce that we live. It's not on, it's off. Oh. You turned it off? I turned it off because I didn't want to have to clip all this shit out. Okay. <laughs> Golly. Uh, <laughs> Del, focus, focus. Uh, trying. <laughs> <laughs> Wilma. Wilma says she's just like Gabriella, her counterpart. She's talking about her Gabrielle. counterpart. Gabrielle. 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 Just tell her. I've had one sip of coffee. One. Well, take another one so we can start this thing. People are like, okay, let's get started. Good morning from Germany. Good morning, Anderson. Mm -hmm. Okay. So go ahead and your thing there because I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, you guys, today we're going to be talking about truths that we live by. So these are basically things that are non-negotiables in our life, um, you know, and just things that we keep at the forefront of our mind to keep us focused and moving forward when things are getting tough and hard and when you want to just give up and throw in the towel. No throwing in the towel. Well... That's, That's not allowed. It's a really bad ultimatum if you're doing it that way. So, that is not allowed. But some days, raise show of hands, some days who wants to just be like, I'm done with this shit. I'm leaving. <sighs> Me. Hello, hello. <laughs> Two hands. Welcome right. in, everyone. Welcome in. <laughs> oh, Flower Vine, so happy to have met you. Look at me. Yep, preach. Yep. Mr. Thunderwing. Hi, Mr. Thunderwing. Now that I know who Mr. Thunderwing is, it makes me smile every time I see Every Mr. time you see the name? Yep. 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 That's what I thought. We all feel the same way because life be life in. Thanks for the yep. follow, McKinley. Okay. So the first thing, some of these are more true for one or the other of us, but I think we've both adopted them because you guys know how we are in our marriage. We share everything. So we've both kind of adopted these truths, I feel like. Um, the first one is... This for me is my truth. Don't keep anything in your life that doesn't bring you peace. Mm. I don't care if it's peace clothing or person. And I know those two things sound very dramatic and very far apart from each other. Yeah. Um, but if something, first of all, you only have so much energy in a day <laughs> anyways. So if something is draining your peace, it's literally stealing your joy Right. And stealing your energy, and I refuse. Um, I refuse to keep anything, anything around me um, that's a blood sucking vampire, whether that's a person or a thing. And that can be that can be tough though. That can be tough, especially when you're talking about individuals, family members, people you love. It'd be people mm -hmm. you love. Um, sometimes there needs to be a little distance. There are. There are things we do on a daily basis. Oh, by the way, I know what my new one is. It doesn't bring me any peace. I swear to God, if you save me, I'm going to hit you with this no, coffee No, you bring me all the peace. I've told you. <laughs> you should tell them how the, we went back to me crawling on the other side of the bed to cuddle you a specific way to get out of the bed and go back to my own side. <laughs> like when we first started dating. Uh, work. I cannot. Work no longer brings me peace. Well... <laughs> Baby, work used to bring me that peace. One's, no that one's brings tough. Me peace. You can't just quit your job. So this, that one's this, tough. This particular, this particular work is no longer bringing me peace. So I'm working on that. I'm working. I'm working on it. But also, so you can't just quit your job, right? No. So what do we do? We have to find other ways um, to find peace and find joy. You know, eating is brings us peace. You can't just do that. <laughs> I did that too early in my life and look at me. <laughs> no, no, no. So, <laughs> so like we had the conversation the other day, he, sometimes stealing your peace comes from your perspective on the situation. Facts. So he takes his job extremely personally. True or false? True. And it's only because, um, he has a very good work ethic. Right. So he uh, wants to have a good reputation. He wants to give good customer service. 
And when someone says he's not doing that, it affects his peace. So it's really not the job that's affecting your peace. It's again, the people. Yeah. The people and the way they're responding and not giving you what you need and yeah. literal documents and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh it's everything. I need to be the CEO of me. I love it. He's he's done talking about it. Can you uh, tell? I don't want <laughs> to start my day that way. I'm trying to refocus my brain. He's done talking about it. Okay, so you can go on to number two then. All right. Number two, this has always been important to me. It's, I don't know. I don't see it as much these days. My dad taught me this and, and pushed me down this pathway. So Happy to be in the cup holder, Dale. I I've always said you have to be... A person, I'll say person of your word. You have to do what you say you're going to do. If you say you're going to do something, you got to do something. Um, because if you want to believe in what people tell you, they have to believe in what you say. So if you say you're going to do something, do it. You may not want to do it. You may not like to do it. But if you said you were going to do it, you've got to do it. I think that's a critical core component of being an honorable and honest person. Well, if you're not honest and, uh, or if you're not a person of your word, how can you expect to attract other people to you that are people of their word? So if you're not putting that out into the universe, how can you expect, um, you know, other people to treat you that way? I think of, I think it's something a little different. I think of my kids. So, um, David, when he, when I was first becoming a mom, okay, so, I didn't get a chance to learn rules and grow with them. I was thrust into being a mother. So I had a seven-year-old. You know exactly what story. I know the story. story we want to. Seven-year-old, a nine-year-old, and a 13-year-old. And so, first of all, when you're new to the family, you're dating the man. There's an immense amount of pressure on you to take care of these kids. You know, they're their babies and they're becoming your babies, right? So I had to take Amelia to um, a softball game and there was a playground. And of course, they've been to that softball field a thousand times. David is comfortable with the softball field. He knows where he is. He knows his boundaries. He knows what he's allowed to do and what he doesn't allow to, uh, isn't allowed to do. This is my first time. So I can't find him. He is gone and I don't know where he is. And I am losing my ever loving Oh my God, my brand new husband is going to divorce me because I have lost his child. You know, I'm just kind of waiting. I'm, we're also in that like fairy tale moment. Like we're so in love. I'm just waiting for something to pop that bubble. Yeah. So when I, when I find him, I'm like, don't you ever run away from me again? I am beating your tail when we get home. <laughs> kind of went down like that. Poor little kid. <laughs> I lost it. I absolutely lost it. So of course... As I load him in the car and we're driving home, I've got to stop and get gas. I get out and I call Wes. I said, I think I overreacted. Um, I think I overreacted. Uh, I don't think that he really needs a spanking. He knew where he was supposed to be and I didn't know where he was supposed to be. And Wes says, well, unfortunately, you promised him a spanking. And I'm like, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. And he said, I did not have healthy parenting. Okay, so first of all, I did not have any healthy parenting. So... Wes was like, you told him that he was getting a spanking for disobeying and running off. And so you, if you want him to respect you, mm -hmm. you have to follow through on what you told him you were going to do. It's true. <laughs> I'm so done with you. <laughs> Way to go, Ron. That's funny. It's true. I cannot with you. Yeah, that's so true. So... Later that evening, I had to follow through on my word, and it was not pleasant, and it probably was not very hard either. <laughs> I felt so bad. It, but it wasn't the point. But he was, he was, you couldn't explain to him at that age why you weren't doing what you said you were going to do anymore. Of course, so had yeah. To, his his cognitive reasoning it. isn't that far yeah, along yet. You had to, you had to go Good ahead morning, and follow Haley. through with what you said. That's, I mean, for me, that's, I don't always like it. If I say I'm going to do something, Amy, yeah, um, that part. Then, then you have to do it. So pause one second. There was something else. I saw um, a comment and good morning, Mama Lynn, and good morning to all of the people. I'm so sorry if I'm not saying good morning to you like I normally would. I'm trying to not talk over him because we're also recording this and it's going to be turned into podcast. So please bear with us. I see all of you and I love you and I thank you so much for being here. I need the story behind the bone mugs, behind please. Behind the bone mugs. 
So my husband is so wonderful. Hold on, I'll come back to the original thing I was going to say. Say that again. You're wonderful. I tell you you're wonderful all the time. I kiss you, but I'll mess up my lipstick. Don't do that. Um, so I, I'm just obsessed. Good morning, wake up, Diz. I'm obsessed with coffee mugs. And so I said, what if I get to have a new coffee mug for every podcast? And he looked at me like, bitch, you're going to cost me so much money. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> That's kind of the look I got like. <laughs> so I picked up this coffee mug because I love it because it's a good four finger. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a, it's a, it's a comfy coffee mug. Yeah. See? It's yeah, comfy. Yeah. It fits. Yeah, yeah. So then, on the way, I didn't go through <laughs> Mr. Thunderwing. So I didn't go, go through the line with him. So he saw this coffee mug mm -hmm. in line as he was going to check out. And then he picked up that coffee mug, too, because he said it matches. They kind of match. They kind of go together. He wanted to match me today. <laughs> see, see, I said what I said. Oh my gosh. I said what where I said. Did we, where did we originally there's see There's an influencer. That? Look at that. So there is an influencer. There's a man out there. Um, I love his content. I used to watch it all the time. I don't remember his name. He's a, like a Disney dad or something. He only does YouTube. And when he goes, I think he's really serious when he says it. He's actually, he's yeah, never he, inappropriate the, on camera. It's the way he's describing We're it. We're inappropriate on camera. Mm -hmm. The thing about her rolling is she's a special, special kind of girl. girl. Good morning, sweetie. Morning, Laura. Uh, Ron, that wait, sounds amazing. Wait, wait, wait. So, whenever he goes to the char character, where char character warehouse, character warehouse. Um, he'll pick up and explain and describe everything. Like, he'll do a day and go through there and show you everything that's in the character warehouse and the prices of it. And so, he used to always describe his mugs as two finger, three finger, four finger. And I'm like, that's highly inappropriate, but I'm stealing it. I think he, he must have a spouse that's a Disney employee because I think he goes to the cast member mm -hmm. place as well. As well. So, so, he's on YouTube. I can't remember who it is. Okay. So Morning, Mara. I wanted to pop back a second ago. I don't, I can't name, call you out by name. I apologize. You're welcome to comment again. But you said you had to let go of a very good friend. Um, I personally, um, had to remove myself from my family. Like most of my family. I love my family. I love them. My family are really <laughs> big heart people. Okay. Bradley, <laughs> look, follow the Bradley's fun. You are about to get <laughs> muted. <laughs> you, he can't keep it together when you're in the chat. <laughs> Stacy, if you see us, yes, please say hi. If you see us, please come say hi to us. We're going to be in the parks all weekend. We're not going to be live much. Oh, by the way, you guys, please give me some grace this week with lives. There's a lot happening in a short amount of time this week. Um, so please give me some grace. We're not going to be live probably again until Sunday. I'm so sorry. I might have a pop-up live here or there. I got invited to go on a VIP tour this week. We have a photo shoot this week. I've got to do some things to get ready for the photo mm -hmm. shoot. I've got one of the parties this week. There's a lot happening this week. It's a, it's a bit, I can't really I remember. can't remember. The, he loves you being busy. here. Don't leave. I'm just teasing. No, we want you here. Good morning from the Polynesian. Okay, focus. So what I was going to say, though, is what's happening yeah. this weekend. You know what? You <laughs> ask your wife. <laughs> She'll tell you where to be and when to be there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, but going back to... Don't keep anything in your life that steals your peace. My family and I are very, very different. And I don't fault them. You know, I'm not talking bad about my family. We're just different. They choose and want a different life than I do. And my peace is more important than being wrapped up in the dysfunction and the turmoil, um, the fighting that's happening, the drama that's happening. And... We all came from the same upbringing, right? Some of us had different experiences in that upbringing, but we all came from the same upbringing. And I, from a very young age, wanted something very different for my life. I don't know why. I don't know where that came from. I don't know why I saw that I wanted things differently. I don't know. But all I know is I chased after that my whole life. You caught me. And again, it's, it's so funny. I think about it all the time. If you guys had met me at 19 years old, I wouldn't look like this, which most of us wouldn't like look like our 19 year old self. But when I say I didn't speak, I didn't speak. So for me to be up here, like talking to y'all in front of all these people, all 
No, I was taught to be seen and not heard. Like I am a completely different person because I kept chasing after, um, you know, being being different, wanting to be a better human being. You continue to grow. You're still growing. <clears throat> yeah, always. Because I force myself to. I force yeah. myself to. Yeah. Okay, on to some more uh, fun stuff. So the next area is um, something that I really cl clung Caught on to, I guess I should say, I started to say clinged on to. Uh, Jess bought a, I don't know what it was exactly. Was it made out of wood or something? Anyway, we hung in our last house and it said. You're mixing two things together, but am it's I? fine. Never mind. Okay, so I'll just say what it is then <laughs> and not add that. We I'm heard fine. we heard create a life you don't have to vacation from on a, one, of, one of the YouTubes we were listening yeah. to. Yeah, on a mindset something. Yeah. So it's it's really, it's just create a life you don't have to escape from. You say vacation from, I say escape from. Um, and that was part of our journey here is we said, I don't want to go live this life every day where it's just the same thing every day and I just hate it. I sit in front of the TV all night long, every night with mindless Grey's Anatomy playing in the background while I scroll on my phone. I'm going to pause because I really want to answer this and I can slice okay. this later. Pause. Tips on being a patient uh, uh, mom. First of all, you're doing a fantastic job. You're doing the best that you possibly can. And it's normal. What you feel of overwhelmed all the time is completely normal. So relax in the peace of this is just a season. Your babies are all over the place. They're little. They're learning. They're growing. Um, whenever you... <laughs> Go to the bathroom. <laughs> don't let them come with you. I don't know how old they are. Lock the door. And you you really have to feed your mind constantly. You have to be feeding your mind good stuff. Whatever it is for you that, um, that fills you up, that motivates you, do that all the time. Okay? But we, we love you. You're doing a fantastic job, honey. I have a daughter raising a daughter now, so I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> Did we um, post last week's... To YouTube, yet? yeah, it's on YouTube. Last uh, week's live is on YouTube. McLean on the tube. Last week's conversation was entirely about that. You can go to our YouTube channel, The Wessica Way, and you can catch last week's episode, which was all no, about H our marriage. We're not going to Disney today. Okay, so let's so get back, back to the on topic. I just really wanted her because I feel moms. They feel like they're not doing a good job. You always feel like you're not doing a good if job. If you lay in the closet crying, it's okay. Jessica did for a long time. Every I day. I my business out. Because it's true. <laughs> uh, at any rate, creating a life you don't have to escape from. Vacation from, escape from. Escape, vacation, whatever. I mean, do we still take a little vacations here and there? Yeah. Have we been on a cruise? Yeah. Do we go to the beach every now and then for a long weekend? Yeah. Um, but I... I, we have created a life that I personally genuinely love. Is it? Does that mean life is easy, or there's never any issues, or there's never disagreements, or, you or there's have to never come problems? Home and do the laundry, and you gotta yeah. go to the grocery store after you leave they, Disney. I still gotta work every day. <laughs> I still gotta work on my days off and on the weekends. Stuff's running through my mind. People try to reach out to me. People try to ask me questions about stuff for work. Every day, it's every day, but. Every day, it's every day, but we've created a life in which I'm ultimately I'm happy. I'm happy, we're happy, right? I don't know. But again, this is something that we we kind of designed it, right? Yeah, so we, in our the next point is going to talk a little bit more about this, but basically, what we're saying is. Um, you can live anywhere. You guys have heard us talk about this a little bit on our lives. You, you can live anywhere. You can pay rent from anywhere. Your family can come visit you anywhere. So don't lock yourself into this mindset and kind of cage yourself into thinking, oh, I could never move across country. I could never um, move to another state. I could never do that because all of my family is here or I built my life here. I wouldn't know how to start over. It was terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. I thought, what's my relationship with my kids gonna look like? Again, I have a great marriage. We had been married for, what, nine years at that point when mm -hmm. we moved down here. Mm -hmm. And we have a great marriage. And I thought, okay, is this gonna be the thing that's gonna ruin our <laughs> marriage? I'm always waiting on the damn other shoe to drop. 
I'm sure that's some childhood trauma. We'll unpack that later. The book's coming, um, Stacey. But I, I was afraid, but I wanted, again, in my soul, Charlotte was not bringing me peace. So it kind of goes back to that as well. Charlotte, Waxhaw, same five restaurants, same people. I, and I love, we had some great friends. Seeing the same thing every day was literally killing my soul. I'm very adventurous. I want to see things. There's this whole big, beautiful world out here. I cannot stay in the same place. I can't do it. Um, and thankfully, he was willing to come along. So, Death choice? No. I was coming. <laughs> With or without you. So, But we pushed through the fear. And, um, you know, it's... In some ways, it's the same. You're still going to the same. There's still Hobby Lobby down here like there is in Charlotte. You know, there's. you think it's going to be so different. And different. you have all these fears of the unknown in your mind. And then you do it. And you're like, oh, my God, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't half as bad. It wasn't even a quarter as bad as I was making it out to be. So create a life you don't have to vacation from. Live in the place that you love. Again, um, we don't get to go to Disney like you guys do, so it's different for us. We don't get to mentally just check out for days at a time. I do miss that, and that's why we go to other places. Is because sometimes you need to completely, you know, check out. Right. Um, but if we didn't live here, we wouldn't have been able to come to Disney the last two years. Life looked so different for us. Things were so hard for us. Um, so if we didn't live here and it was easy and cheap, girl math cheap, um, for us to go, we wouldn't have been able to come to Disney the last two years. So I'm thankful that we took the leap and created this life, you know, or else we'd still be in Charlotte, broke and miserable. Well, and we're, <laughs> we're still, it's still not finished. Our journey is still not finished. We're, they're still, we're still, believe it or not, looking to downsize even more from where we are right now a little bit. Um, there's things we want to grow. We're starting to work on growing our uh, rental properties, VRBOs, those things. Um, but but we're on the right path and we have an idea and made a plan to do it. Hi, Brenda, cast member. We love you. Thank you for hopping in and saying hello. Ashley, cast member thank you. on the um, friendship boat. Oh, nice. And no, we're not doing a park today. And again, this is just for those that are just hopping in here. This is a very busy week. So we probably, you won't see us again until later in the week, if not this weekend. We don't have VRBOs yet, Jenny. It's in our plan, though. We're working on it. We just finished getting up all of our business and everything set up because um, we want to purchase them all in a business name because people out here are insane. Yes. <laughs> uh, what about moving and Melissa, leaving elderly that. parents behind? Christine, uh, you don't necessarily have to leave them behind. You could bring them with you if that's what you choose to do. But I, I hear what you're saying. My dad's still in Virginia. Uh, I would love for my dad to be closer. Um, and he's not. So we take the time that we can with him when we can. Well, but also you have to remember snack, Daddy. everybody, and I don't know your situation specifically. Everybody wants something different. We begged mama and daddy to move closer to, to us in Charlotte. And it, and at one point, Wes moved from Colorado to Charlotte to be closer to his parents. And then his parents had to move for family reasons. So, you know, there's all kinds of things ebbing and flowing and moving you and taking you, but there's there's a car, there's an airplane, there are ways to go visit, and you can find some really cheap, Sarah Nicole, I love you. You can find really cheap uh, flights out there now on a whim. I see it all the time. My friends are coming and going to, to <laughs> down here to Disney. Um, so you just have to find um, a different way. That's all. You have to look outside the box and decide what is most important to you what's your piece uh <laughs> Juan, i love you um you have to decide what's most important is it your piece are you are you going to live your whole life not being happy and not being in your happy place nope. is that what you're gonna do because that's the that's the alternative too short it's too short there's too much i want to get done so number the next one leads to what we were just talking about as well Mama Lynn, I love you. Somebody said, isn't this a quiet week at Disney? It may be overall. For us, it is Over not. Life. There is so many people within our little hamlet that are headed this way this week. Um, and we're going to actually just take some time and be with some of them and hang out with some of them this week. So 
Real quick, um, Silver and White just said sometimes it's hard to get your partner on board. Yes. Can you speak to that? Because I know I was all in, and I know you had to. It took me a minute. <laughs> it took me a minute. I Family to me, and this is just the way I was raised. Good morning, Uche. I love you. Family to me is is everything. It's everything. Um, my dad is probably my very best friend in the whole world. If Jess needs me to do something I'm not willing to do, she calls my daddy. Yes, I do. I'm 55, and when I get a call from my daddy, I listen. Um, you know, so family is very important to me, and all three of my children are still in and around the Charlotte area. I have a grandbaby now, so it took me a minute. We talked about this move for two years, three years. Mm -hmm. We talked about it, how we wanted to do it, when we were going to do it, mapping it out, making it strategic. Um, and I finally realized that, listen— the kids are going to go away. They're going to have their own families. They're going to make their own life. It's not going to revolve around me. So what did we do? We came and we made a place where they can come to go on vacation. When it's time for vacation, they want to come here. At least that's the hope. Because all three of my kids enjoy Disney. So <coughs> Amelia, my oldest, just doesn't like the heat. Yeah. So she'll have to come in the other she'll, five she'll months She'll come in January. Year. Yeah, she'll, she'll come, come in January. <laughs> Um, and they have. You said, I hope. They, but they I know, I, I foresee, like, our grandbaby coming to spend weeks. Oh, yeah, when she's us, old enough to fly without them. To fly yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Come and spend a week with us, and then we'll send her home. She can come back three or four weeks later and spend another week. Because I know as parents, that would have been awesome to get rid of your baby for a week. Good morning, relax. Denise. Good morning, Cincy Gal. Cincy Gal, I'm so glad. You guys, just so you know, if you're popping in and out, I'm not ignoring you if you're saying good morning, hello. We love all of you guys. I am editing these down for podcasts, so I'm trying not to talk over him whenever he's in the middle of saying something important. Or when he's else. not saying anything important, what? that's fine. Just gonna be like, you're not talking over Good morning, ever. Jay Jump Off. What's up? Morning, Jay Jump Off. I don't blame her. I hate the heat, Cassie. I hate the cold, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right. uh, look, look at Sukai. Sukai. All four of your kids enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right, Sukai. All four Sukai of them. Sukai is one of my adopted <laughs> children as well. <laughs> we have a bunch. Um, You're so much prettier when you don't talk. <laughs> Sarah um, said it. I know she wasn't talking to me. So y'all, we've I'm spent we've you. spent some time with the Barajas, <laughs> and Elia picked up. I say that to Wes all the time, and she picked that up the other day and said it to her, <laughs> to her boyfriend. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm a great influence, <laughs> or not? Hmm. God, God, so or not? Do you need another cup? I'll go make you another cup here. We'll start talking about the next topic. Um, so the next thing is uh, make every decision with the goal in mind. I, I think too often we all go through life just making decisions, not really focused on the end result. We're making the decision in the moment, which is good to do, but you have to know what the ultimate goal is so that your decisions continue Leading you in the right direction. Yeah. So <clears throat> this is the sign that went up over the bed. You actually made it for me. So I bought a white chalkboard, real pretty sign oh, yeah, from Hobby Lobby. You're right. And when I heard that, create a life you don't, or um, sorry, make every decision with your goal in mind. I literally had him write that because he has really beautiful penmanship. So I had him write that on a chalkboard and I hung it up. We had like a little sitting room off of our bedroom. And so I had him <clears throat> hang it up over the sofa in our sitting room. So that every morning when I woke up, it would be the first thing that I saw. Because like every girl in the world, <clears throat> I have a problem buying pretty things. I see something pretty and I'm like, oh, shiny. That needs to come home with me. Don't ask why we have Christmas ornaments out already. Ooh. Don't ask. So Please, pretty. Don't ask. Oh my God, I love it. No one judge us. And then you just buy it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So seeing that. Every single day, reminding, I know, Uche, reminding myself every single day that we had a goal to move and I couldn't spend money on frivolous things that I really didn't need anyways and that in two weeks would no longer bring me joy. And need to get rid of. And need to get rid of for the move, yeah. So having that, okay, we, <clears throat> we want to move. Here's the goal. This is the goal. And if I keep buying a Dutch Bros a day, it wasn't Dutch Bros back then. <laughs> it was whatever, Starbucks. If I keep buying this every day, if I keep 
um, spending my money on another movie out because I'm bored. If I keep going out to eat again because I'm bored, you know, I've got to find a different way to do something um, so that I don't keep making choices that are not in a line with my goal, with mm -hmm. the ultimate goal. Right. Because we, we make decisions because we're bored or we want instant gratification or we want something now. We don't want to wait. Um, and then we don't just know to all of you who want to join my life. <laughs> oh, Nicole, I love it. Yeah, Dell, that's Purging true. brings amazing peace. It, it really does. does. Getting ready to do that again. <laughs> Getting ready to do another Purge. Dustin, we're talking about when we moved here. We're talking about when we moved to Charlotte, to Florida. This was our goal to move here to Florida. Good morning, Kathy. Um, so, you know, it, and I will be on it more so me than him. He's very, he's extremely responsible. He's not spending money on anything that he doesn't need to spend money on. Um, he's not a sneakerhead. I wish he was, but he's not. He doesn't care about clothes. When I met him, all of his clothes were from Walmart. Um, he, he could care less and no offense to anybody who shops at Walmart. I'm just saying like he could care less. He's just going wherever it's easy. He's scooping up some stuff. He just doesn't, it's not what's important to him. Good morning, Marsha. How are you snack? Good morning, Sarah. I can take a minute and say hello and talk to everybody. Wes is going to become a sneaker head. Help. <laughs> Dale's trying to force it on me. Help. <laughs> <laughs> well, guilty again. Much needed advice, Juan says. <laughs> You just have to decide what's most important. I guess something I realized too is <clears throat> life is going by fast. Life is going by fast. It's, it's September, y'all. <laughs> it's September again. Um, it was just January. And so you're going to look back and go, did I do the things I wanted to do? Did I do the things that I really wanted to do with my life? Did I live in the way that I really wanted to live? And only you get to decide that. It's another thing that's coming on the list. Uh, today we're doing this. We're talking um, about truths that we live by. We're hanging out today. Oh, Steph, love you. Get them babies ready. Priorities. I did a little reevaluation myself the other day. Yeah. Yep, priorities, where to spend your money. Yep. Which, that's kind of, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and go into the next thing. So, it's kind of the same. Prioritize where you're spending your money. You have to prioritize. So, the way that we made, again, this our dream. Yep, Winnie Cat. But if you feel it, so don't take it as a, as a negative thing. If you're feeling that time crunch, then reassess. Back up. Listen to yourself, listen to me. I believe each of us, I don't believe that one person is more spiritual than the other or one person has intuition and one person doesn't. I don't believe that. I believe we, some people are stronger in those gifts, but I think they're stronger in those gifts because they pay attention. They, they're just paying attention, that's all it is. When you call a girlfriend or a friend for advice, you already know the advice. You already know what you're supposed to do. You're looking for someone else to tell you. And really, if you just sit down with yourself and get quiet and turn things off, you would hear the truth for yourself. Or you ever go around and ask like 10 people, oh, this is what's going on in my life. Can you give me some good advice? And 10 people give you advice. And you're like, I didn't want any of that damn advice. I didn't want to hear anything any of them had to say. The reason is because you know your truth. You know inside what it was that you're supposed to do, what direction you're supposed to take next. They're telling you their opinion from their truth, from what they've experienced in life. You have to listen to your own intuition. We have a built-in GPS, every single one of us. God does not love some, other, some more than others. It doesn't work that way. We all got the same gifts. I think it just depends on who utilizes them, who develops them, and who listens. That's it, in my opinion. So, but back to prioritizing. Not me, off on a rant. Hi! <laughs> you yourself will know your own truth. Zach Tree, that's right. Ah, oh, Jenny, that's awesome. I'm so excited for you, that's awesome. Kelly, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Snacks and Shenanigans. I'm so glad you're enjoying it here. Dropping gems. Thanks, Court Court. Good morning, Brittany and the Beast. I'm going to see you soon, aren't I, Brittany? Big Max. Big Max, are you going to be here soon? 
Big Max is in the house. I know, Blake. It was so glad to meet you. Thank you for stopping and saying hello. So many people don't. <laughs> you guys, be patient with Dell. He's here listening, but he's driving, so he can't comment back to everybody that wants to send him love, but he loves all of you. Be safe. Arrive alive. And Sarah Nicole is here, so you can uh, bend her ear. Christmas week. Okay, where are we eating? Wherever you say. Oh, that's a cute name. Soul darn good. <whistles> Lana, you got to move to America. <laughs> she said everybody's going to be there but me. But we often have to make decisions about whether we want to do something right now or not do something right now based on where we're trying to end up. Yeah, so prioritize uh, where to spend money, right? Yeah. So like, I've, yeah. again, I'm not knocking anyone. I've wanted a tattoo forever. I want a tattoo behind my ear that says made of soul, um, stardust. stardust, made of stardust, because I believe we're made from the same substance as the stars. Chemically, scientifically, that is accurate. So we're made... Uh, frame from the same substance as a star. So I want that written behind my ear since I keep my hair so low I'd like to keep it a bald fade and but money, you know, I, I gotta pay off my daughter's wedding dress I gotta I gotta buy some things I want here right now. I'm going on a cruise next month like I have to no, prioritize no. November 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 So you so we Big Max, thank you for subscribing. Big Max, you got to Thank you for resubscribing, boo. You got to get in the salty sirens and sailors, mister. I don't want you missing anything. So darn good. Me too. I, I have to get out of my head sometimes when we're on the cruise. But other than that, thanks for sticking with us, um, Big Max. Tiffany, we're going um, November 11th through the 15th. We're going to be gone for a week. We're going to be gone for a week. Preston, good morning, honey. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I don't, is that Solita? Solita, I love that. That's beautiful. We're going on a Disney wish. We're going on the wish for the first time. No with, Disney today, with no. With several other snacks. Yep, with several other snacks. So at the beginning of the year, we started talking about the snack trip. Snack trip, anybody, anybody can go. You don't have to be a snack. But we started talking about the snack trip. Mostly only subscribers and people that are close to us decided to go. And then some people had to bail because it's $3,000. Some people treated it like a savings account, <laughs> which I totally understand. <laughs> it's expensive. Uh, but yeah, it'll be our first Christmas cruise and it'll be our first uh, Disney wish. Wish amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I know. I'm going to be like Molly and lay on the floor and look up at that ceiling. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see it. I cannot wait to see it. How did you learn to sit with yourself? I've lost myself and I need to find myself again. So I was forced to learn to sit with myself. Um, and it's a long story that I'm going to unpack on another um, <clears throat> episode. Today's not that episode and I probably won't do it live because I'm going to lose it a lot. But so I was spiritually abused and I love church and I love God. And um, I was very, very seriously spiritually abused. And so once I realized I was being spiritually abused, I could not turn to scripture anymore. So I had to find out. I was, I was jacked. I don't even know how to tell y'all. I was so jacked up. My brain didn't know which way was up. Um, and the things that I once found peace in. No, no, no. It's not a triggering question. You're fine. You're fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay, but it's going to bring up emotions, but you're fine. Um, and it's good because I want to share these things with people. Um, so I had, I was drowning and I had no option but to sit with myself and find a way to heal myself because no one was coming to heal me. Um, you know, a lot of times you think that an outside source or you think God, or you think that someone's just going to swoop in and heal you. And it's not, that's not how life works. Again, this is also on the list. You have to, if you want something to change, you have to heal yourself. So I started, Cheryl, spiritual abuse is through the church or, or through anybody, any spiritual people, people who are spiritual and then um, they essentially use God against you to harm you. So I had a pastor hit on me. Um, 
I'm lagging. I think you're lagging, babe. I'm at my house with like perfect Wi-Fi, so and I'm not moving the phone at all. So I think maybe you're you're lagging, boo. I'm not lagging, you're lagging. <laughs> uh so I wanted my healing more than I wanted my depression. Mm. I wanted my healing mm -hmm. more than I wanted to stay in the darkness and the depression. Depression's no that's the only way I know how to explain it. I was extremely sad. I was extremely hurt. I was extremely lost. I was extremely tormented, tormented. So I had to start looking for other sources of healing. And one of those was sitting alone, meditating, watching my thoughts, realizing they're just thoughts. They're not who I am. They were just thoughts. Ashley said, I wanted, to, I wanted my healing more than the depression. Oh, y'all gonna make me cry. I gotta talk that. about something. Else. That's so funny. Can we change subject? Please? Yep. <laughs> um, I hope that helps, and I love y'all. And keep going. So funny, you just said this. So, um, one of the next things is is a saying I heard a long, long time ago, and I totally, totally, totally believe this. Is she just said thoughts? are things. What you continuously think about, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going mm -hmm. to appear. Um, it, think about it this way. And there are a lot of good books on this subject, on mindset, on how to get what you want, how to manifest. It's really just manifestation. Some people don't like that word. Some people think it's mystical or magical, but there are other words you can use. But if, for example, right now, I'm ready to get a different car. I'm ready to give my car back and get a different car. And I've decided as much as I love my car and I like how it sticks to the road and goes fast and turns tight and all of that, I need to sit up higher. I want to sit up higher. I miss Jessica's Jeep. Did you just say you're getting old? No, I didn't say I'm getting old. I'm, never, get, I'm never getting old. I heard too. I can't see my car. Um, but <laughs> so slower. <laughs> when I was looking for this car, or when I was getting ready to buy this car, everywhere I looked, I saw this car. Everyone had had the Genesis. Everyone. Now I want to get a Forerunner. And everywhere I look, it's for oh look at that one. Look at the tires on that one. Look at the color of that one. Look at this. Uh, Mike, you can. You can still manifest <laughs> I'm sorry. it, Mike. What? You like, can still manifest I can't it, Mike. Manifest having your perfect you hair being bald. You gotta get the proper massage with the <laughs> castor oil. It works. Just do it every Not day. Not the castor oil. Uh, I freaking uh, love you. But oh, I love you so much. That's what? Because I said castor oil. Because because you were not a, I'm going to use this word in love. I'm a granola person. Wes was not a granola person at all when we originally got married. Wes was so well, far from granola and now Wes is granola. I've learned a lot over the last 10 years. What, meaning organic, you use the earth to heal. Right. You know, you don't, you don't really like medication. Granola. Every, everything holistic. we need was already put here for us in the grand design. Um, but you thoughts it, are Nicole. things. Um, what you continuously think about, that's what you're going to get. If you think good, you're going to get good. If you think bad, you're going to continue to get bad. Bad is a lot easier. It's a much lower vibration. It's easier to think negatively. But when you do that, it's going to continue to go that direction. Um, you know, when Sarah you... and I are getting matching Jeeps, by the way. Nice. <laughs> I'm get ready to look for it because I know she's put hers and hers on the side. She <laughs> is not waiting, but she's she's only waiting right now for me to figure out how to do it in the business name. That's what she's waiting on me for. She'd already have the Jeep. Um, so figure out, get Black get quiet Widow. with yourself and figure out what it is you want. What do you really want? What's important? And then put your focus and your intention in that area and think about that. And that's what you will get. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not easy. People talk about meditation, this and that. I am. I think I'm bad. I'm finding out I'm not bad at it. I just don't do it the same way everyone else does. It's hard for me to just sit still and be quiet for two minutes, much less mm -hmm. 15 minutes. Um, but it's not always necessarily about that. There are ways to do it where you just keep your mind focused on something, which I can do. 
as long as I am allowed to bounce my knee or something. Um, if you guys want more on learning, because it's, it's easy for us to just say that, uh, thoughts are things. Um, the secret is on, um, mm -hmm. Netflix for free. The secret, the secret helped me initially, uh, get into thoughts or things, but then I had to understand we always want to be doing something. We always want to be, what do I do? How do I do to get this? That's not, that's not what it is. Um, he's essentially saying that what you're thinking about is what's attracted to you. So Jake Ducey on the tube, Jake Ducey on the tube is one of the most, he explains it the best of anybody Simply. I've heard that teaches on that. Um, yes, Lana, it is on Netflix. Um, yeah, human doings versus human beings. So darn good. I'm loving you. So, Welcome. So. You're dropping all kinds of nuggets in my chat, and I'm here for it. Love, Jake. Black Widow, way to go. Main Street She's, Magic, I'm glad you're here for it this morning. What Black Widow say? Uh, she's in school for the pharmacy and all, but she's going, going to be doing holistic. I love it. Let us know where you're going to be I'm practicing playing, from. I'm playing the game in school. Are you going to do virtual school? visits? Because yeah. I'm currently looking for a new doctor for Wes right now. <laughs> Um, Joe Dispenza, Conrad yep, says. Joe yes. Dispenza. So, but again, some of these people, I mentioned Jake Ducey specifically, Conrad, because um, some people are still on the surface in their journey and just learning. And a lot of these people go deep and it's like, whoo, what the hell are y'all talking about? Y'all are crazy. Right. So right. let's back it up. Let's start with Jake Ducey. I'll give y'all some deeper things as we, as we go forward. I got, woo, I got some crazy. So I hope y'all ready for it because I got some. Jessica, are you okay? There is. Yes, I am. So wait, much out there. Okay. Wait, I want to say one more thing because I keep forgetting. Say it. When you're talking about thoughts or things, when you're saying you don't want something, that is not the correct posturing. Right. The universe does not understand don't. Energy only hears um, the thing. They don't, it's like it doesn't hear the word, I don't want that. I don't right. want these bad things in my life. You have to put your energy as if um, you already have those things. Right. A gratefulness. Gratefulness is a, is a fantastic a place Big to start key. if you can't change your thoughts around. Gratefulness is do a D U C E D U C E C E Y. Why? I don't D U C E Y. Yeah, it's not D U C E. It'll come up, Lana. I don't have another way to look it up. I could probably look it up over there, but good morning, Erica Snack. Um, there are a lot of good books that will help you down this journey. Some of the books I read, uh, As a Man Thinketh. Um, yep, Kayla. Think and Grow Rich, which I've probably read oh, 12 that times. Right. That was a while. Um, some other good books. Uh, the Greatest Salesman in the World was a good book. Wait, and now is that about sales? It's, it is, but it's not. It's more about... Because see, if I hear process. that title, I'm like, oh, right. I'm not that's reading why, that shit. That's why I mentioned it. <laughs> I'm not reading uh, that. Hey, Angie. Uh, what was the other one? The Wisest Person That Ever Lived? The Richest Man in Babylon. That's the name mm, of it. The Richest on, Man in Babylon. This. Hold on. Some of the good books. I love Ron Clark says, now I am Thank curious. Thank you, Chelsea. If you still believe all you knew before from from the words, uh, yes, yeah. yeah. So you're asking if I'm still a Christian or if I still believe what came. Um, I have not done this yet, but I want to reread the Bible now for myself. I think that um, church grossly uh, misconstrues people. We're people. We're humans. Again, you have a man in a pulpit. Y'all, this is just my opinion, okay? And I know that this can be very controversial and I love everyone. You can believe whatever you want. This is my truth, okay? So I'm just sharing how I feel at this point in my life based on what I've been through, okay? There's a man and I know divine intervention and the Holy Spirit. I understand what you're going to say to me already. Listen to me. When I tell you I went to church four times a week, I can quote you a lot from the Bible, okay? Okay. So there's a man or a person, man, woman, person from a pulpit telling you what they believe to be true. Um, and in some cases, I believe what they are saying is true. But I also think that they are communicating to you from their own truth, their own belief, their own upbringing, their own raising. And we've seen way too many times 
that they're just human. They're human. They fall. They do things to disappoint us. They rip whole churches apart because they faltered and they're only human. Um, so I, uh, I can't tell you I'm on my journey to what I still believe, but I believe that a lot of things were misinterpreted from their point of view instead of me accepting it and learning it and discerning it from my point of view and what's true for me. Yeah. The one thing I will say is on on our journey, How we on get on? my this is journey, not what we were supposed to be talking my, about today. On my journey with you. Good morning, once upon a year. On hey, my Courtney. journey with you, one of the things is that I have learned to ask a lot of questions and not just not just listen to what's told to me. I actually do the research myself. Um, I think, and we may be in a little bit different spot. There's obviously there's a creator. Obviously okay. there is a God. There's no question about that. I have different questions on where is it? How is it? How did it get to be? Why are the books that are in the Bible, the Bible, I was always told, this, this is divine inspiration by God, which I believe that to be true. But I believe at some point the church got involved and said, this, bo this book can be in, this book cannot be in the Bible anymore. And Politics, the they, government. They removed stuff. I believe stuff. that they are always not on our side. You know, That's there's wars have been fought over this stuff. There have been some very heinous and horrible things done in the name of religion, They're just like everything else. So you have to Corey, great figure word. out what's good and what's for you and what's not for you. Weaponizing, have, yeah. Have, has, how many people have seen the book of Eli? How many what, a, what a great Wes movie. Wes loves that movie. What a great movie. I, that movie tears my insides out. It's hard great for movie. me to watch because I'm very em empathetic and the heaviness of that movie. Whew. But if you haven't seen it, it's a great movie. And Sarah and Nicole, yes, can can the four of us put that on our calendar, please, to do that together, that topic specifically, please? She knows uh, what I'm saying. So, it, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, this is part of, you know, our marriage that we did last year, our marriage mindset that we did last week. Um, we, yes, we, we have grown together, so yet we definitely do believe a lot of the same things sure. because we've grown together. The Book right. of Eli, Sandy. The Book of Eli. It's a movie. It's a great Net movie. Netflix, I mentioned earlier. I'll drop these in Discord as well. Um, the Secret. The Secret. The Secret was on Netflix. Jake Ducey on the tube. And The Book of Eli. I'm not sure where you can watch The Book of Eli at right now. It's a very old. It's a very old. It's older movie. So it should be easy for you to find. Yeah, Mary B. That's that's a great movie. Fire everybody, everything that group of people put out no, is Kayla, we amazing. Um, they did a football movie, high school football yes, that Liz, was amazing. That's next week. Next week is facing a lot the slower. Giants. Facing the Giants, one of my favorite movies ever. Um, Good morning, Hope. We probably will, Lens. We don't know when yet. We haven't mapped out next week yet. <laughs> That's an interesting question. Have you ever cover, colored your beard? Why or why no, not? No, no, I would never no, color. I'm so not coloring silver. anything, guys. He's a I'm silver fox. It is what it Crazy? is. It is what it is. I'm not gonna a specimen of I, eat my face. <laughs> okay, I don't we gotta go. Log mess out. with any of that. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta. Okay, Log out. <clears throat> are we ready to go on to the next thoughts or things? Sure. We're done? Let's go on to the next thoughts or things. I think we already, uh, no, I want to talk about that a little more. Um, Some of these all intertwine together, I think. I'll let you bring it. Okay, so the law of the universe is a real thing. So energy, scientifically, cannot be created or destroyed. And at this point, it's been measured. There's all kinds of scientific research out there. Um, vibration is a very real thing. On a basic level, when you walk into a room, you can feel, if you're paying attention, if the room is happy or if it's sad. Um, we went to the Jazz Lounge the other night. We went to the Jazz Lounge a few weeks ago and the Jazz Lounge was pumping. It was, we had so much fun. We went the other night and it was weird. <laughs> the Jazz Lounge was not like... The energy, the vibe was off. Was totally the drummer energy. showed up late. The saxophonist couldn't get his uh, mouthpiece right. Like the a couple of beats every once in a while would be off. Like it just, it just felt off. But the music was still good. Yeah. So music's always good. 
so I'm saying all of that to say that um, the, the energy, what we were talking about before, frequency is a very real thing. What you put out, Del agree with me, and we didn't even talk about this. Mm -hmm. That makes me happy. We didn't even talk about it. Me and Del didn't. I told Sarah, Sarah and I were talking about it. Um, but energy and what is put out is very pal palpable. It's, you can feel it. And what you put out, again, is what you're going to get back. So I say that to say karma is really where I'm going with this. Karma is a real thing. What you put out into the universe, how you treat people, if it's like you guys are always talking about the influencers and, and how we're the same behind the scenes. If someone's putting out something right here in front of you and then the fruit behind the scenes isn't manifesting, that shows you what their heart and what they're really putting out. Because you can't, what is, was it? You can't, you can't bear bad fruit or something. I don't know. It used to be a saying from the church. You can't bear bad, bad fruit. Whatever you're putting out is real. It carries a frequency and it's either going to turn into something good or something bad. There's no way around it. You can't hide. You can't hide from, you can't hide from karma. You can't hide from energy. And so that's why we choose to match energy because mostly people are actually nice. Mostly. Good morning, Shelly Paul. Good vibes only. That's right. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of manipulation, a lot of fake. I was watching a video yesterday about Jollywood Nights, and Jollywood Nights hasn't happened again yet. So this video was made from footage from last year. And she was just like, these are five reasons you should go to Jollywood Nights. And I was like, girl, stop. <laughs> Log out. <laughs> Thank you, Dell. That's a great way to say it. Actions and decisions produce fruit, bad or good. Thank you, Dell. Yeah, it's like a Dropping garden, nuggets. right? It's like a garden. It, the soil doesn't care what you plant. Whatever you plant is what it's going to grow. If you plant uh, nightshades and you plant poison ivy, it's going to grow it. But if you plant Tomatoes, it's gonna to grow tomatoes. If you plant bananas, it's gonna grow bananas. Whatever you plant is what blooms. LB, I'm not sure how to answer that. That's a very blanket question, hun. The world is crazy. Um, it's okay. It always has been. I do feel like there was an energy shift recently, a yes, major one. Major one. If you're For watching, the um, so their their measurements. I don't know technical things, you know. Unfortunately, it's but the Earth's resonance. You tell him. It's the Earth's resonance. He knows. Tell him. There's a resonance. There's a re a frequency that's that's measured everywhere. There's yes. graphs that you can look. There was a huge shift, and I think that I think that things are we're shifting. on a positive. We're headed in a positive direction. It's not going to be easy, but it's going positive. Has it ever been easy? Mm -mm. It never feels easy, but that's just the way it is. Who's Schumann? Who that? Schum it's Schumann's Resonance is the name of it. It's oh, okay. Schumann's Resonance. I love it. We found our people. <laughs> They're like in the chat and stuff. <laughs> I know. I know, Jeremiah. I know. I, I said that and I immediately thought that, but I, I didn't mean for everyone else to catch it. I said nightshade and then I said tomatoes and tomatoes are a nightshade. <laughs> yeah. I love that. He was paying attention. Jamila. I'm sorry. Not Jeremiah. Jamila. Oh, Matt. Thanks. Um, so. Wait, wait we missed one. We, uh, we missed one. Number seven. Yeah, we missed all, that. All things are to say that, um, listen, things in your surrounding don't change until you change. If things need to change, you are the middle of that thing. You, I guess, you are the center of your universe. You're the star of your own show. You're the star of your own show. Well, what I was thinking whenever I put that one down is... No one's coming to save you. Facts. So even God, if you're religious or if you're a yes, Christian or you believe in, in a higher power, even if you believe in a higher power, right? I think too many times people just sit and wait and go, oh, God, save me. And it's like that story. There, I heard this forever ago. There was, a, there was a great flood and the guy winds up on the roof of his house and a guy in a canoe comes by and he's like, oh no, I'm, I don't need to go with you. I'm going to wait for God to save me. And then a, like a helicopter comes by and he's like, oh no, I'm going to wait for God to save me. And then some other form of help comes by and finally he drowns and he dies and he gets to heaven and he says to God, why didn't you help me? 
And God's like, oh, excuse me, friend, um, sent you help, sent you help three times and you refuse the help. I think that we are equipped. I think, again, too many times we make it too spiritual of someone's going to swoop down and help us. No, we are equipped. We are equipped. There's not one of you in the world who's not equipped to help yourself. I am no better than you. I've just been working on myself really hard. None of us are better than the other one. No, again, nobody has um, more gifts or abilities than the other person. It's just if you choose to use it, and I know it's hard. Listen to me. <laughs> I know about being in deep, dark despair and not moving off of the couch all day long until it's time for my husband to come home. So I hop up real quick and get a shower so he doesn't know I laid on the couch all day long. I know about it. And you have to choose one tiny step, one tiny step every day to save yourself. No one's going to save you. There's no, um, nobody's coming. Ed McMahon's not showing up with the balloons and the fake check. You uh, have to this save timeline, yourself. that never happened. Jesus Christmas. In this timeline, they say that never happened. Just saying. So I know for a fact. <laughs> I know for a fact it was real, but not and, now. And I'm going to tell you one small break. When you are in your darkest place, when you're in your darkest place, um, and you're like, how the fuck am I going to, how, just how, how, how you want me to climb out of this? I ain't got no money. My bills are due. I have no way to make more money. I promise you, I promise you one small thought of gratitude and that might sound like complete hogwash one find something in your life you're thankful for whether it's a person or you're in a house maybe you live in your car anything anything one little thing one you woke little up this morning that one's sometimes not good enough yeah, it's great every it is day for you every it day. is for you but if you can get one little thing it leads to a bigger thing and it leads to a, it it leads to opening in your mind so that you're not in such darkness and that's leading to saving yourself you got to get out of your mind in order to save yourself right that's right so darn good gratitude turns to joy and love which is the highest vibration start the moment of gratitude cheers we make yes. a great team Some momentum. the barajas and us make a great team momentum cheers, of bitch. gratitude <laughs> momentum of gratitude but you you can stay the the darkness and the sadness can be like a freaking blanket you can just wrap yourself in it and stay there and it's comforting so you have to decide do you want the happiness or do you want the sadness LB, I don't think it's nice to say things like that. Blanket statement. <laughs> what? I missed. She said the church, Catholic church is all about money. Mm -hmm. Some people in here might be Catholic. <laughs> you got to find a way to rephrase how you feel, friend. <laughs> <laughs> but we love you anyways. <laughs> I wait. At, hold on. Waiting for my husband. But I feel so useless. Ashley, so just um, start looking for something that's important to you, babe. I wait at home waiting for my husband and it, yep. So what I did was start looking for something for myself, something that I could do for me. It started out as exercise. The first thing that I did was beach body. Um, and it, and it, it wasn't the community or the people. That's not what helped me. It was the movement and, and having a purpose for myself really helped me. So that was the first thing. And then that led me to realizing I love design. I'm very creative. I'm a good writer. So look at yourself. You have natural gifts and abilities. So look at yourself, see what you like, and then find anything to do. Even if it's not making you money, I don't know if you need to make money, but just find something that's meaningful to your heart, whatever it is. Morning, Sparks. I know I love Beachbody, too. I always have. Somebody asked, do we take supplements for our hair and skin? I don't take supplements for that, do you? Uh-uh. No. No. No, 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 but I do. My face care routine is back in my feet a little ways. And I also, I'm about to make a gua sha video because I do um, clear my, what do you call them? The, the places. Lymph nodes. Yeah, I clear all my lymph passages and then I um, gua sha. And let me tell you, gua sha, gua sha, gua sha ink, gua sha ink makes a huge difference overnight, literally. It will remove the puffiness from your face so fast. Ashley, that's okay. If you're staying home and you really want to work, make it happen. 
There's a way to make it happen. Yeah, so you guys, there is, listen to me. I have um, taken a deep dive. This is, this is Del Baraja's thing. YouTube University. There is nothing you cannot learn on YouTube University. The air conditioner. Everything, everything that I know how to do, I have learned from YouTube, but Dell specifically calls it YouTube University. There are jobs, y'all. I Okay, listen, the e-guide that I made, y'all, I created that out of nothing. It took me maybe two weeks to develop and produce that e-guide, and it's still making me $34.99 Mickey's a year later. There are so many ways to make stay home and make money. Just get on YouTube, start researching, start looking around. Right. And there are some scams, obviously. So the YouTube, it's easier to find because they'll break it down. Get, that's the, right. Get, get the, the e-guide. <laughs> Take care of me for the rest of my life. Thank y'all. There's two of them up there now. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Crystal Snack. See? And that's just what I knew. I knew Disney. He had taught me Disney. We were struggling against, what is it, two years now? We were struggling so bad. Two years ago. And I needed to find a way to make money. And I was like, what can I do that's reasonably priced that I can sell a lot of them? And I'm going to tell you what, y'all have no problem dropping 35 bucks on something. None of us do. We'll spend that on coffee in a week. Mm-hmm. Easily. Easily. Oh, you're waking up now? Let's go. Now, oh, now the music's changing. What happened to the lo-fi Disney music? You changed that already? <laughs> Where was I when that changed? Uh, yeah. That's so true. Oh, that's right. Lana, you're, you're getting really good with your drawing, too. I love it when you drop those in Discord. Have fun at work, Del. Have a good day, babe. Crush make, it. Make it a great day. Go out there and crush like it. Like you do. I feel called out on the coffee part. <laughs> how how did we meet? That's going to be a whole podcast soon. Do but, to it, but we met at work. We met at work. He was my sales trainer. And I said, ooh, break me off a piece of that. <laughs> you got more than just a piece. You got the whole damn thing. <laughs> got more than you bargained for. Uh, too funny. Yep. Chat okay. GPT is an awesome organization tool. Oh, yes, it is. Man, AI, listen, I'm an old man. I'm trying to learn so many new things and learn some things now that the way things can work so much easier. My wife is happy but sad because I asked a bunch of questions out of the blue that she's got no idea what I'm talking about. Where is the podcast going to be available? It will be on uh, It'll be YouTube. on Buzzsprout once we release it. Right now it's still in production. Um getting the first so I've got to make a first episode these are all going to be second and third episodes because we're doing them live so I'm recording them at the same time um but I've got to get our first episode down which is how we met the backstory which I haven't been able to do if things have been crazy but we're going to get it done we got married in 2012 um okay so next thing I'll let you talk about it because this is a you're letting me you. talk about all of them no it's not true so don't do things out of guilt. Um, again, we're talking about energy. I think that, I think that um, if you're doing things out of guilt, it's a negative energy. Nothing good can grow from that. So if you're only going to visit your family member because you feel guilty about going to visit them, what good is coming from that? I, I told my kids this all the time. Um, I, I I don't know that I really know how to expand more on that. I just don't believe that you should do things because you feel guilty about it. Um, I think that it's, again, a low-lying energy. It feels very negative, and I believe the other person can feel that too. So why are you, why are you doing it? Why are you doing that? You get one life. You get to choose what you want to do. So why are you doing things if you don't want to do them? Brittany Bitch says you're absolutely gorgeous. I love you, Brittany I Bitch. I concur. Allie, have a good day, sweetie. Um, yes, on. I'll I wanna, put this up on I the wanna, team. I want to answer a question real quick. Okay. Um, Jennifer Good says, what if I don't want a trad wife role in my marriage? You don't have to. If that's what you mm -hmm. want, then you don't have to, but you have to marry somebody who's okay with that. You have to have a conversation you with your spouse. Have, you have to hook yourself to a person who, you know, is okay with that is the problem. 
I mean, different people want different things, and that's totally fine. I don't want to tread anymore either. That's why. Absolutely you do. That's the whole idea. No, I don't want to clean dishes. I don't want to wash Listen, clothes. If we want to get super traditional 1950s, you didn't do none of that. Oh, that's right. I went to work. I made okay. money. Okay, he's not we wrong. We have one car. You went and played cards with the girls all day. Someone came in and cleaned the house, made the dinner, did the cleaning and cooking. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I do want that. <laughs> <laughs> I need a house manager. But I the, need to be able to hire a house the, manager. The problem <laughs> is the world has moved on and you don't have that anymore. That's unaffordable for the majority of the population. So now... The ladies end up in that role and want that role, but they're exhausted. Listen, we didn't plug this at the beginning. I'm going to plug this now before I say this next thing. First of all, we are not professionals. We are telling you our opinions, our beliefs. Good luck coming after me if you try to sue me because it's going to be hard to get blood from a turnip. But I am not a professional. This is my experience and these are my beliefs. Just telling you what works for us. I'm, this is If you are with someone... And y'all are not on the same page. I'm so sorry. I don't believe in staying with someone, again, out of guilt or out of loyalty or out of duty. Morning, Even Kristen. if you have children together, you can you can co-parent. You can wait, raise your children together. If you're in a relationship and you're not happy or you're fighting all the time or you guys don't have the same beliefs, you're not on the same page, what are you teaching your children? What are you teaching them? But you should work on it. You should try to work on it. It doesn't always work. Um, I'm not saying you shouldn't try to work on it. I'm it not saying you just work. discard people. I mean, right. you and I have things and we work on it, but we're mostly on the same page. Right. We didn't marry our polar opposite. Right, right. In in the past, you married your polar opposite. Why and if you, you put my shit in the street? Because I didn't, well, I didn't marry mine, so. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't marry mine. I would have been miserable. Yeah, kids can see through the unhappiness. And something beautiful that I love that we gave our children is they've seen two completely different kinds of marriages. Um, their mom is happy in her new marriage. They do marriage a completely different way than we do marriage. And now our kids get to choose what kind of marriage they want to have. We are soulmates. We have this beautiful love affair. Um, we do everything together. Their mom... They like to take separate trips. They like to have their time alone. And that's what works Morning, for Edgar. them. So I, I love that our kids get to see both sides of that and they get to make a choice. And like our oldest girl, she's choosing love. She's about to marry her soulmate. She's, that's what she's choosing. They are best friends. So I just, I am again a firm, it goes back to the guilt thing. I am a negative. firm, firm believer of not um, staying for the world, for the world, essentially. You're, you're doing it. If you feel a certain way inside and you're not dipping out, you're doing it for all the wrong reasons and you know it. You're not doing it to heal your soul. You're not doing it for your own peace. You're not doing it for what you believe. You're doing it for somebody else. And why should everybody else get to control you? Why should everybody else get to control you? But I'm also an extremely selfish person, so. Guilt is a very low vibration energy. It's about the lowest. Not only that, but guilt is self-induced. You're the one putting the guilt on yourself. Yep, we do have communication. We communicate a lot. Stay married for the kids was an old programming, yeah. 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 But there's a lot of old stuff. People used to get married and then fall in love. It was, you know, they had arranged marriages and then you fell in love with the person. It's what you did. There was... Duty, honor, responsibility. Mm, dirty energy Diana, I like shame. that. Guilt yeah, is like energy that. with shame. Yeah. Mm. And none of that is helping you grow in a positive direction. Morning, Thank sassy sin of humor. Uh, the uh, last hold on. one. Hold on. Alexandria says, I don't like that you always call yourself selfish, Jess. You are not. You love yourself. I'm thankful that you see it that way. <laughs> I feel like most people would not um, call my behavior that I love myself. But you're right. I do love myself. And again, my peace and my joy is an inside job. And it's most important. Nobody else is in charge of my peace and joy. And it's what's most important to me. So, yeah. I, I call it selfish. But 
Well, that's what the world calls it. Mm, Sarah, yours is different. Your Yours is because of the way that it's being used. Yeah. She says guilt is such an interesting thing, especially with moms. Right. It's hard to not feel that as a mom. So I used to always um, remember that my kids are going to grow up and leave me. They're going to grow up and leave me. I'm raising kids, but I'm raising adults. I'm raising them to be good adult human beings. Um, and I chose to do what I thought was best for them, not what was always best for their feelings. But I also chose to not lose myself in my kids. And I'm not saying anything about you specifically. I'm just giving, I know a lot of moms feel like they have to do everything first for their kids and it's what their kids want and all of those things. And so I just always try to remember they're going to grow up and leave us. They're going to, they're going to, and they have to, they have to go start their own lives, you know? Well, the truth of they the matter is families. the overwhelming majority of our children have it way better than we had, than our parents had, than our grandparents had. Um, and we have to remember our job is to, they're, what is it you say? They're not really yours. They're, they're not they're, really ours, no. They're given to you for a season. I love that you remember that. Right? To, to raise into functioning good adults. It's like the universe lended you these human beings for a little while to mold them and shape them, but they don't really belong to you. They're on their own spiritual journey. They're on their own journey. They get to make their own choices. They get to have their own um, experiences. They get to choose what kind, they get to come here and choose what kind of experience they wanted to have. So they don't really belong to us, but we in our own selves feel this sense of ownership of them. And I know you guys push them out. I did not push mine out, so I get it. I did. <laughs> you guys didn't. I know that you guys push them out, so I understand that my perspective may be a little bit different on that. Um, but think about it. Think about it. You, you have your kids for a short period of time, 18 years, most of the time. I know. I saw what you said, Adrenaline Junkie. <laughs> Eight, and they're always your kids, but it's not supposed to be a possession thing. Again, you're not supposed to get love from your kids. You're supposed to give love to your kids. You got to fill your own self up, in my opinion. So, so I think the, the guilt thing that you're never doing, yes, I, okay. I feel that. I feel that. But if you don't manage it, it can go awry very quickly. <laughs> I give you this personal, this is my experience. Um, when my kids were little, I worked. I had this idea in my head that if I worked hard enough and did enough, I, and I would rise up the corporate ladder and own the company or be the CEO one day, it doesn't, we don't live in that world anymore, I'm just saying, we just don't. Um, and I look back now and I would change so many things if I could go back and spend more time with them. I was never around at Halloween because Halloween was the last day of the month. And the last day of the month in the mortgage business can be brutal. And I was there till 9, 10 o'clock at night, the last day of the month a lot of times because we did business all over the country. So on the West Coast, it wasn't that late. But I would change some things. I would. It wasn't until mm -hmm. Amelia was a senior in high school that my thought process on that started to change. David was playing football. And I ended up having to leave a job over it because the conversations that I was having with them and they said, we want work-life balance. We want, we want you to be happy. You've got a family. But then when I started doing that, I started, have, uh, are you really here? Are you really into this? Do you? I finally just said, well, I guess I got to go. So I left. Just pushed me and pushed me and pushed me until I left. She kept saying, that's no good for you. You need to get out of there. Trying to read the rest of Erica Howard. I feel like there should be more coming, Erica. Are you going to make a second comment? I see it talked about a lot lately on social media, but do you feel that your spouse should be... Should be what? Should be what, babe? I think your message got cut off. You probably ran out of characters. Good morning, Courtney. So how, how would you say you manage your guilt around not being there enough for them? Uh, I, you have to let it go. It's too late now for me to change that. All I can do is try to be present and available now. 
mean, my kids, they're all off. They're pretty much on their own kind of, I guess, but they all know, they all know they can come home anytime they need to. They ain't coming home to stay forever. They're grown, but if they need help, if they're on hard times and they've got to get their feet back under them, that's my job. That's what we're here for. Now, if you come back to my house, there's going to be rules. It's my house. We're going to bed early around here. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Be, if you're going to be 1130 <laughs> get up early. midnight coming home, you might just want to find this place to stay that night because the kitchen aid is close. Well, <clears throat> in watching you handle your guilt, I would say that... Um, I would say that you definitely don't internalize it. You, mm -mm. you have felt it, but you let it go. You know that you have done the absolute best that you can do. And I feel like all parents always feel like they didn't do a good enough job. <clears throat> Every single one of them. I don't care who you are, unless you're just a crap parent, which there you, are some of those out You there. never feel you did a good you job. You never feel like you did Parenting a good job. Parenting is the hardest job in the world because it's a learn on the fly. No one can tell you how to do it. No one can tell you what's right for you, what's right for your kids. It's different for every every single person. <laughs> and you're going to mess it up. That's what I've told my daughter. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to do it wrong. It's okay. They're These dang be okay. characters always get me. Yeah. yeah, Erica, finish the rest of it. I want to know what your question was. Just, I'll go back and read. So just finish the, the rest of it, the last of it. Your comment's not that far back. Okay, here, hold on. Hold on, can I tell her something? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. We're both about to get you. We coming for listen, you, girl. Listen, I'm going to tell listen. you something. We have been, I have personally been around a lot of people with kids. And I'm just going to tell you that because your three children. Because he taught softball, he was a coach, he's been around a lot of kids. Are some of the most well-adjusted, wonderful young humans I've ever been around. I love being around your children, which tells me that... You You're are doing, doing an a amazing great job. job. Your kids are well <clears throat> loved. They don't lack for anything. You're present. What could you possibly do better? I personally, I, I what better. you love them. You give them time. You give them attention. You give them space. Uh, you develop Morning, each of them personally because each all three of them are completely different, and you you are like. Directly to each of their needs individually. Yep. I I don't see. Again, we're we're somewhat oh new friends, but we spend a lot of time together now. I don't see what you could possibly he, do um, differently. We always feel as parents like we need to do more. We need to do better. We need to do better. We need to do more. Listen, you're doing the best you can. That's all you can do. They are each unique. Yeah, Kelly, I think you're right. I think you're right. I'm waiting Coco, to see if she... Flow psycho, where'd she go? My nude on the Just can't sit. Gotta get jiggy with it. Yeah, that's, that's it. DKMY, all, all up, up in, in my ride. eye. No, he said ride, didn't he? No. Are we having a Mandela mo moment? Whatever. Oh, hell, I lost her. Oh, what there are you it looking is. for? I'm looking for Erica's original comment. A spouse should be. Pretty like me? Oh, do you feel like your spouse should be put before your kids? Uh, the absolute truth is yes. The most important relationship in your answer. house is, is your marriage. And there's reasons for that. One is, it was the two of you before the kids came. Erica, you're good. It will be the two of you after the kids leave. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a big problem with marriages today is as the kids get older and then once the kids leave the spouses are looking at each other like who are you what, yeah. what do you do what because they spend so much time investing in their children which you should invest in your children but that becomes the most important thing in their lives and it can't be it can't be i Again, always told my kids your kids are there for you to love them shape them and let them go they are not there to fill a hole in your heart, mm -hmm. heal your wounds that you had from a childhood. This is just my opinion because I've seen it happen time and time again where, where women have babies to heal something that's broken inside of them. That is not, you are just transferring your trauma to your children. So that is why even when I first came into the house, obviously I didn't give birth to my babies. They were seven, nine, and 13 whenever I got them. 
Wes always put me first. He made sure they knew you are loved. You are just as important as she is, but I'm not siding with you over her. We are the parents. We are the grown-ups um, in this household, and you will respect and mind. Well, but I think that's it because we said, we communicated. Mm -hmm. You know, just like when we were disciplining the children, if we disagreed, we never talked about that while the discipline was happening. No. Which was usually me just going off and providing the discipline and you saying, hey, I think we could have done that a little differently. Um, but he is, Courtney. But this is my most important relationship to me. To me. Um, I love my children and I'm always going to be there for my children. My children know I love them. But my daughter's getting ready to get married. And, and this is the one thing. I, I saw this and I said, it's so true. People always say, oh, I'm gaining a son. I'm not losing a daughter. I'm gaining a son. Listen, I'm not gaining a son. He is my son now, yes, but I'm not gaining a son. They are starting their own family. Guess what? I can't say, hey, you have to come to my house now for Christmas. They got their own family. They got to do what they want for Christmas. And guess what? Hopefully I can be a part of that. Hopefully if they'd like to come, I'd like to have them. But they have a daughter. They have their own family. It's their family. Just like I started my family, they're starting their family. And that's a separate family from my family now. My family, guess what? Hi, family. <laughs> it's her and I now. Help! <laughs> help it's her and I help. now. <laughs> and one of the things that I'm so thankful for is that, you know, although I miss the kids tremendously, um, I know as they got older, they want to hang out with their friends and stuff. I wasn't so cool anymore. We've got three kids. Uh, my oldest one understood that her friends thought we were cool. We got invited well, to all their stuff. think about it for a second. So we'll give you a real life example. Um, I met Wes when Amelia, our oldest, was 13. She was headed into her senior year or mm -hmm. her freshman year of high mm -hmm. school. Mom had, mom was still very much in the picture always around, but mom had left and moved out of the house about a year prior. So what, for 10 months or so, it was just you and Amelia in yep. the house. Yep, yep. The other two children who were seven and nine went back and forth. So Amelia and dad were very close. She was a daddy's girl. She was not leaving when mom left. Um, so Amelia and Wes, they were in a relationship. They were, they were father daughter, but they were also spending all their time together. Um, you know, every night was Taco Bell. Pretty much. Amelia was getting ready in the master bath of the house. She had moved all her stuff kind of into his, uh, bathroom. She was becoming the woman of the house. And she was his emotional support. He will tell you that. She was his emotional support. So she's 13, headed into high school, right? And imagine if I hadn't come along and they didn't adjust that situation. And then she just left. And then she just left and went off to college like she did. She fell in love with a boy. She fell out of love with a boy. And then she met her, the love of her life. And now she's getting married. Where would that have left him? If he had rested all of his emotion and all of his hope and all of his comfort in his daughter and used her for that comfort, where would that have left them when she turned old enough to go fall in love with someone and leave? It's a good point. It's a good point. You guys, uh, there's going to be a different podcast coming about blended families and being a step parent. Yeah, we're gonna talk about all we're, of that. We're gonna be it's talking. It's so about much, y'all. We have so much to talk about. I'm gonna open my windows. Oh, so now I can see the pool. Ah, let the light in. Yeah. I love the light in my house. <laughs> I only um, laughed about the Taco look, Bell. Taco, in, <laughs> in all seriousness, Amelia will tell you, Taco Bell was like four or five nights a week for dinner. Yeah, Maddie, for I love sure. Singing. Uh, yeah, it would have left me in deep depression for sure. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we've got uh, one more here, and then we'll answer any questions y'all want to talk about. Am I going? Yeah, you go. I've uh, read them all. Another truth that we live by is... Tell the truth. I don't understand what these this you wrote here is. It doesn't make sense to me. 
Oh, geez. It doesn't make sense to me either. Way to go. Way to go. Your notes <laughs> that, didn't make a lot of sense. That's a typo. <laughs> Tell the truth. I think what you were trying to get at mostly was <clears throat> not just be honest with yourself, but be honest with other people. Oh, <clears throat> if you don't want to go, don't go. Okay, yeah, I knew if it. If you I don't feel I mean. like going out, don't go out. But don't lie about it. But don't lie about it. Just so, say, I don't feel like doing that tonight. Thank you. So I used to do this. <clears throat> First of all, you don't have to explain yourself to anyone. You're an adult. That's what you get to do. That is your right in life. When you return some shit to Walmart and they say, why are you returning it? You can say, because I want to. Now here's my receipt. Take my shit back. You're grown. You don't have to explain why you don't want to do something. Now, if it's your friend. Sorry. Huh? What? Sorry. Oh. Now, if it's your, <clears throat> if it's a friend and you, and you want to be on, I think you should be honest with your friends and say, you know what? I don't want to go out tonight. I don't want to go. I love y'all. I'm tired. I do this. People are coming and going in and out of town. You guys will see me. Sometimes I'll take one for the team, but a lot of times I'm tired. I have got to take care of my body. And so I'm honest with my friends. I tell them, y'all, I need you to have some grace with me. I got to go. I can't, I can't stay in tonight or I can't, or I can't, sorry. I can't come out tonight. I can't stay in the park so long. I'm exhausted. I love y'all, but I got to go. I'm honest with them. I don't make up an excuse I don't say, or if there's somebody there, I don't want to be around. You know what? I don't really care for that person. I don't, I don't want to be here. Can I go? Or I'm going, not can I go, I'm going. So awesome. Carpenter. Yeah. True friends do respect that because first of all, you're honest and it allows when you speak your truth, it gives people the power to speak their truth. So when you're honest with each other, it allows the other person to be honest as well. I don't have time to be fake. I don't have time. I don't have the energy. But also, if you're not honest with them, how can you expect them to be honest back with you? How, if you're not an honest person, how can you expect to attract honest people into right. your life? Right. And, and that, I mean, it's so true. Relationships should be able to handle that. Sometimes I want to do stuff and you don't. So then I've got to plant multiple seeds to get last you to do Last night, what I, want. I did not want to get off the couch. <clears throat> Sarah, let me tell you what happened last night. My husband says, so do you want to go get a piece of cake or something? It's 8 o'clock. And I'm like, no, bitch. But I know he's been in the house all day. I'm a homebody. I could stay in the house all day. He needs to get out. Yes, Jesus is the way. But could you please stop spamming my chat? Thank you. People will choose their own way. So nobody likes it when people throw their Bible at them. So either stop or you'll be blocked. That's your choice. So um, we were on, I was exhausted, but I knew he had been cooped up in the house all day. I knew he wanted to get out. So off the couch I went. It was raining. I was like, okay, fine. We are Tony. Really? <laughs> Tony. <laughs> <laughs> focus, Tony. Listen, focus, please. <laughs> Look, that's a lot happening. There's a lot going on. We're not talking one oh, way or the other. It looks like <clears throat> somebody muted. <clears throat> we're just, we're all for mm -hmm. I bet it was Mama Lynn. Whole. Mama Lynn said, nope, not today. <clears throat> I did want to win the arcade game. She normally beats me in that kind of stuff. It was raining. So, but we got <clears throat> off the couch, um, went and got a piece of cake. They were sold out of the cake I wanted. The whole reason the we went. The other cake that I got was dry. It was horrible. It was old. I was like, Gideon. It was horrible. I came over here and stood in line for 30 minutes to get a trash piece of cake. But No parks today, Bruce. But sometimes you got to make sacrifices, and so I made sacrifices. Let's answer something. Oh, I have. What are we asking? Uh, you're not answering who you're voting for. That's no one's business. No. Well, Although people they wouldn't already have know. to do much research to figure it out. People already know. Um. <laughs> uh, LB had asked, do you think kids today have it harder growing up? Yes. You do? Why? Um, because social media. There's too much connection. <clears throat> but it's not connection. we there I'm sorry. There's too much connection to that. Right. So I would say this. Amy, I love that. I, I don't think it's ever harder or worse. I would say I had a more enjoyable childhood than kids do today. And the reason I is... I think that bullying was always... I no, feel different. I think there's not enough bullying. About now. bullying. So I think there's not enough bullying. We're That's just my opinion. Friends. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> being honest. It has a place. I was bullied. I was bullied. It and has I a place. beat the crap right? out of my bullier and you, they finally left me alone. You learn to protect I think, yourself. I think there's a, there's a little bit of it where... It makes you stronger because you face your adversary. Right. And it right. makes you stand up and face that. Right. Now, 
I think that there is some excessive things sure that happen is. on sure social media always. That's, that's, that's always. But, that we didn't have to deal with. But what I would say is the problem today is, especially with the social media, it's so easy. Kit, oh, battery exhausted. Very good. Uh, well, good. We got most of that. Did you not plug the battery in? I did. It's plugged into that battery. Is over that there. thing turned on? Is it the does, charger turned on? You know what? Is the charger turned on? Why don't you go find out if the effing charger turned on? I How come get, I gotta do everything? Because I only get 10%. No shit, because you don't do but like 9%. <laughs> I'm giving you extra. Uh, the, the difference nowadays is, unfortunately, uh, you know, the social part of the media stuff is not really social. Unfortunately, it, it's actually separating yeah. a lot of these kids. When I was a kid, you went out, you knocked on your friend's door. Can you come out and play? Let's go play. We played all day. We weren't allowed inside till the oh, street lights came on. Oh, you can't play. I'm going to my next friend's house or yeah. I'm going to play We home. went and found something, right? Now these kids turn on and they're, they're chasing their whole interpretation of themselves is how many likes did I get on my post? How many friends do I have in this particular platform? Like that's the most important thing in the world, and that's well, how they I mean, view somebody friendships. Somebody can take a naked picture in private and then airdrop it to everybody in the cafeteria. I right. think that's a problem. Yeah, yeah, it's just. So that's it's, what I mean by social media. I know it's not that social, part but for sure. Is too connected harder. In that way. It's harder, and um, it's one of the reasons when my kids were little, they weren't allowed to have any of that. They hated yeah. me. They hated me. But well, I kept them had, away from that we stuff. We had an incident. We did have an we incident. We had an incident. We told the kids. After all the conversations. Well, well, it was it was early in our marriage too. So it was early in our marriage. It was before we had implemented the rule, no phones upstairs. So we limited screen time a lot. They were not allowed to have their phones at the dinner table. We had dinner together. No phone, no TV. We That was our sacred time. Um, but Amelia had, took pictures and the boy showed him to everybody on the wrestling team. Uh, he was almost assaulted at our kitchen table when I his almost... parents were called. We we did not sweep things under the rug. I never seen a grown man so scared in my whole life. We were that man to... was so so scared. We were, we made them bring the phone. We took the phone from them. Deleted the pictures off of his phone. They were already out there, um, but. She learned an invaluable lesson that, hey, maybe mom, dad, and Jess are right. Maybe we know a couple of things. Um, so, guess what? No more phones upstairs. That was when we learned to set additional boundaries as well. Phones weren't allowed upstairs. Let's see. Here's the other thing. I was able to do stuff when we I was a kid. We also put um, a parent app on our phone. Yeah. I was able to do things when I was a kid that kids should, kids are Me stupid. Too, Listen. Kids are stupid. They are, they don't have all the reasoning and frontal lobe stuff done. That is the truth. Y'all, it is scientific. The frontal lobe does not develop until later. They don't have all of their cognitive function yet. So I was able to do stuff that no one knew except the group of people I was with. Now, somehow, I don't know how the hell it happened, but my dad always oh, found out yeah, everything Kel. I did. I don't know how, Kelbo. but... But there were no pictures. There was no videos. That oh, look how cool we are! Yes, um, there was none of that other stuff. Nowadays, what children don't understand is when you put something on this computer, it's forever. Oh, Snapchat, it goes away. No, it never goes away. It goes away from this, but it's stored somewhere. And as uh, my daughter was growing in her softball experience, we had to start explaining. Look. These colleges, they're going to go and look at everything you've ever put out there. Mm -hmm. Everything. It's forever. And that's going to tell them what kind of person you are in your brain. Um, who just said, hold on. We are going to do a whole um, uh, blended family thing. But Sky, yeah, it's definitely, as a step parent, it's definitely um, good to know your place. But it's also, so I always, you know, the kids, all, Amelia was only one who ever said, you're not my mom. The kids never said that to me, but I bonded with them. They were, they were little, you know, still. Um, I think it's definitely important that you know your role. Um, but it's also um, important to be open to let it grow where it needs to and see, may, I believe that you get put into situations because you're needed there. So it's it's not just for me and him. 
I think that I came into this family because there was a need. For example, Wes and Kristen, his ex-wife, absolutely wanted David to play football. David is not a jock. I don't know why the two of them couldn't see it, but David is a nerd. And I love him for that. He is a little cute, adorable, smart nerd. And we spent so much money on a whole season of football because they were both determined that he was going to be a jock. No, no friends. He's on the sideline high-fiving all his friends, and we are paying for it. That's what he's doing because he doesn't want to run. He doesn't want to tackle. He's not interested, y'all. So I had to be willing to go against the two parents and say, you guys are not seeing his spirit. You're not seeing his spirit. And it was the best thing. He was. We asked him. We approached him. Do you want to do this? And he's like, well, I like hanging out with my friends. You can hang out with your friends for not $500 right. or whatever the hell we were paying. <laughs> and I don't have to come sit in the bleachers on a hot Saturday on, afternoon. Yeah, watching you high five your watching friends you on the sidelines. Believed that he didn't have to play anymore. But he felt like he was going to disappoint mom and dad. Um, and he didn't know how to tell them that he was, he didn't know how to tell them. Nice. He's a, I tell my yeah, husband football player football. support. Yes. I love football. Yeah. I still if love they, football. If so. they love something, like Amelia loved softball. We didn't force her to do that. It was her thing. So it just sometimes you as the third parent or the additional person in the situation have to be willing to step up and say what needs to be said. Morning, Tammy. As well, if you, you know, if you see something. You're there to advocate for those little people, too. That's why you're in their life. Facts. Yes. Well, that's going to be a good one when we do that one. What? A kid's one? Yeah, the blended family thing. Yeah, the, the, thing. there's a lot on the blended family. Yeah. Um, yeah, all our kids are grown. Well, they're not out of school. So we have two in college and one that's about to get married in about four weeks. Every parent thinks their son is an <laughs> athlete. Well, sure. with him and Kristen both love football, so... I could care less about sports. I'm so sorry. Which is funny because I am an athlete. I'm an athletic person, but I could care less. Too funny. Thank you. Ekashira. Is that how it is? Ekashira? Thank you. All right. Okay. So we don't have anything else, okay. I guess. Now it's yep. Q&A time. What mm -hmm. kind of questions do you guys have? La Derek, what's hey, up? Uh, when is the next Disney day? Can you guys please be patient with me this week? This week, there's a lot happening. Um, I am going sunny. on a VIP tour on Thursday, so if I'm able to go live at the end of the night for fireworks, that happily ever after, I may do that. I'm just going to kind of gauge the situation. I didn't schedule it because I don't want y'all to get your hopes up and then I can't do it or something. Um, and then we'll, we'll do one this weekend, but I have the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party on Friday night, which means I'm not rope dropping the next morning because I'll be out till 1 or 2 in the morning. And that, so then Saturday night, we're going out with a lot of people that are going to be in town, which means I won't be dro dropping Sunday morning. So maybe we'll do like a resort tour Sunday night or something, but it's all going to be pop-up. Hey, so please be patient with me. Is that our daughter, Amelia, or a different Amelia? Uh, Ross, we're not sure which oh, VIP Amelia tour it is. Hi. She was invited, so uh, uh, yeah, I'm I don't not know. sure which one it is. I have a friend that invited me to come. Uh, Lana, the photo shoot is just for like branding. It's just going to be for pictures that we need for branding, for the website, for the podcast. Dawn, we haven't done that. We've never done uh, any Universal. We're getting ready to probably incorporate that, though. I don't know if we're yes, going to do love that my this year. Though. I have a lot of them. Merry Christmas, be Michael. Be a new experience for me. I've never wanted to do that. What Merry Christmas, Michael. <laughs> he said Merry Christmas. Said Merry Christmas. <laughs> How you feeling about the wedding in four weeks? So I'm ready for I it to be I feel fine. Over. Yeah, ready for it to just happen. Just like my own wedding, there's yes, so much you're Shelley, thinking about you planning. Can. It's a lot. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Vampire Stitch Bucket. I don't know I gotta that be that's honest. coming here. I think I, that's going to land. I think that's only in Disneyland. We haven't seen it here yet. <laughs> They're all like, oh my God, why is there a tree up? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm going to show you why. <laughs> <laughs> Because we're going to do um, a Nightmare Before Christmas tree. I just haven't had a chance to decorate the damn thing but tell yet. tell the truth. It was just a way to get the Christmas tree up earlier. And then we can just change it from Nightmare Before Christmas to Christmas. We love Christmas so much. 
I think we're gonna do that when Disney changes to Christmas. We're gonna change to Christmas. Yes. Um, you guys, these are still on Walmart. Walmart on the web. I, I know you did nothing. That's why it's not done. I um, love the Jack pillows in the back. These are four bucks. They were like four something. Sarah says, I did nothing. That's what I'm saying. That's, what I just, that's who I was just talking to. I know, that's why it's not done. Mm, any advice for dating at age 27? It's hard out there. Um, don't settle. Uh, believe people when they tell you who they are, meaning if you see it, you saw it. If you see a red flag, don't ignore it. Don't ignore the red flags at all. Um, don't send any yeah, pictures. Amelia. Don't send no pictures. Don't give the, the, the same old school thing. Don't give the, the milk because they don't buy the cow thing. That shit's true. You have all the power. <laughs> don't look at me. I didn't make the rules. I just play by them. <laughs> Mastered that shit. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Michelle, I would definitely park hop. Oh, um, I would do a full TJ day. TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I'm not sure. My daughter Amelia picked those up for me in Charlotte and then mailed them to me. Yeah, you can't change red flags to green flags for sure. Yep, Lana, that's a great one. Be happy with yourself. That's how we finally found each other. We were removed ourselves from the relationships we were in. We healed our own selves or started to heal our own selves. And then that's when the love of our life appeared. And then you just show up. I busted in. I kicked down the door like, I'm here, bitch. No, you you played hard to get. You fooled me. You said, hey, by the way, I just need a friend. I don't want anything serious, but we can just talk. And then you're like, are you never going to ask me out on a date? Woman, you told me you weren't interested in that. Now you're trying to fool me. That ain't fair. Um, would you ever have your kids if willing? What would you ever... Uh, we a thought kid together. About it. We thought about we having thought a kid together, but I realized he'd be like too beautiful, too wouldn't be able to look at I that kid feel straight like on. He'd be like seventy, and we'd have an eighteen-year-old, and I was like, I'm out. No. Going on a date? Yeah, I feel that. You need to get all that out of the way before you start dating. What's your bank account look like? What's your credit score? That's not how we did it at all. Yeah, we did because we were on the same page. We both have bad credit. We were broke. <laughs> We were broke in. It worked out good. We were broke in, broke in. For real. Yeah, was, yeah. Like worn out yeah, shoe, yeah. shoe leather broke yep. in. Yep, yep. Your kids would have the best that's hair. That's true. That's true. It would. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Our Michelle. son did join a frat, yes. Yes, he did. Against my better judgment. Yeah, he, he joined that's a nerdy frat. Thing. He did join he a nerdy frat. He joined a nerdy frat, frat yeah, though. Yeah. You know, they like to put cars together and play video games. We um, we met at work. We met at work. He was my sales trainer. Is it okay? What is... Melanie, is no, it okay? No, adrenaline okay? junkin'. Is the frat okay? If that's what he wants. He's made some good friends. He's happy. We, so. met, we met at work. No she today. was the new girl at work, and I was the sales trainer. I had, I had taken a step back from being... A team manager to being the sales trainer. Maybe because I was one of the, probably one of the two best salespeople there at the time. No, but you were going through your divorce and everything. Jessica didn't have any children. She had with her, she had her two nephews were no, with her. they came later. No, they came, they came almost right away. And they were at your house a lot when we were dating. How did you handle financials? Um, that's going to be another topic coming, um, Brittany. But thanks for asking. So um, we neither one of us really had anything to speak of. So we immediately just put everything together. I used to handle all the bills until Jess was like, where does all this money go? We get all this money and it's already all gone. So she took over the bills and learned a lot about our finances as a couple like there's a lot of stuff that stopped coming in the house all the time we had to make choices and decisions oh uh, yeah caitlin i wish i had that kind of power i'm excited to be doing the disney wish we're going on a cruise in november for the first time a disney cruise we've done a couple royal caribbeans which are fun so i can't imagine what the Disney wish is going to be like. 
Uh, how long have we been together? 13, 13 years. years. 13 years. We started dating in 2011. Got married in 2012. Thank you. We try to be adorable. How do we budget in Disney? Uh, now, it's, it's not that difficult because we live here now. The annual pass, we can pay for monthly. So it makes it easier. And a lot of people say, oh, that's, they're so expensive. It's so expensive. Guys, listen, if it's $130 a month per person, that's not expensive. Yes, Cal Bell, People spend is. more than that on nothing. So we, when we budget, we just don't, we we don't, just don't do um, other things. We don't eat out all the time. We eat out a lot because we don't like to cook, and that's where we allocate our money. But again, I don't buy other things. Like, I don't shop for the house a lot. Like... This right now, buying this Christmas stuff for this tree is the most I've bought in a long time. A long time. And when like when I shop for clothes, I don't buy expensive stuff. I'm buying <laughs> stuff Lynn. off of Amazon. Mama Lynn, that's facts. Mama Lynn knows you. The budget is you want something, you get it. That's pretty much the budget. I will say though, my wife, I she's not I don't have to buy expensive jewelry. I don't have to spend a lot of money on that kind of stuff. So, um, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys something real quick. I'm gonna do a plug real quick. You're like in the. You're like, hi. How are you? You smell so. Stop good. smelling me. You smell so good. I knew it. Stop sniffing me. Um, real quick, you guys. If you're enjoying this, if you're new here, please make sure you drop a follow. Um, if you want more time with us, right now. Well, we're always going to have memberships on our Thanks, own Amy. site. We have three tiers of memberships. We have uh, the Chewable Cherries, Luscious Libations, and the Salty Sirens and Sailors. The Salty Sirens and Sailors is going to be our top tier membership. Right now, it's discounted to the same price as the Chewable Cherries. If you want more time with us, if you want to support our content, if you say we love it here, we want all the behind the scenes footage, we want discounts off of everything, Please go to our site. It's in the link in our bio. Make sure you're subscribing to the Salty Sirens and Sailors because it is $9.99 Mickey's through the end of September. Okay, so you've only got until September 30th to get it set in place. It'll be $9.99 Mickey's a month forever because we're saying thank you for being our founding members. Okay. If you join after September 30th, it's going to be $24. 99 Mickey's per month forever. And again, this is not a contract. If you decide that you want to cancel for any reason, you can do that. There are some of you who need to check your email. There's like 10 of you out there who signed up under the chewable cherries and I want to change it for you. But I have to cancel your membership and put you under the salty sirens and sailors because you're paying the same amount, but you're not getting as much access. Okay. So make sure you're checking our site. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, we're putting all kinds of fun stuff in your exclusive Discord channel. That's where you're getting all the behind the scenes stuff. Oh, that's a tough one. The son's girlfriend has three kids. The husband's not happy. It's it's that. not Good it's morning, not an easy Justin transition. Smith. I will say, it's not an easy transition. See you soon. But as long as everyone's on the same page, it can be very rewarding. Well, for everyone. you can't you can't stop your kids from doing what they're going to do. As much as you want them to not make bad decisions. Okay, I'll give you an example. But that may not be a bad decision. That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. So when Amelia got pregnant. Answer Tammy real quick. He doesn't wear a scent. He does smell no. like this. Once we sign up on the website. Okay, Tammy, it. if you're not in Discord already, when you sign up on the site, it'll say join Discord and you'll come right in. If you're already in Discord, and you signed up as a Salty Siren and Sailor, go to, go to Discord, go to the Request to Join channel, and drop your last name with SSS so we know which subscription. Drop your last name with SSS and the Request to Join in Discord, and within 24 hours, we'll let you in. Uh, Kel Bell, I'm not sure how the Hold bounce on, back we works. Answer. I'm sorry. Somebody in here might be able to help you. Go ahead. Uh, Sarah, can you help Kel Bell with booking a bounce back? Sarah Nicole, are you still here? Uh, what's the difference between subbing here on TikTok and being a Salty Siren and Sailor? So TikTok, you get first call out when we're on TikTok. You get the snack next to your name. You have special emotes. And you also have 
an exclusive um, Discord channel where some things are shared behind the scenes. Um, but the, the website is completely separate. So you're going to have all of the access to us. You're going to get discord discounts off of our e-guides. Um, pretty much everything that's happening uh, there is that's all of our exclusive content. You can, yeah. you can, yes, you can sign up yeah. even if you're not um, in the USA. Absolutely, you can. Yay, Lulu, thank you for becoming a siren. Welcome, welcome, Good welcome. Morning, Rachel. Um, okay, but I want to go back to this story about um, the three kids. So, Armelia, our oldest daughter, she, um, I'm just putting her business out in the street, but it's a good story, and it turned out beautiful. So she um, dropped out of college for a boy. She was young and dumb, and he did not treat her good, so she came home. We always told her, you can come home. So we didn't talk to her for two years. She just, you know, decided she wanted what she wanted, and we gave her tough love. And so we did not speak until she was ready. And she came home. And she was, like, living her best life. She was, you know, getting her shit together. And then she met a boy. She met um, our future son-in-law. And within six months of meeting him, she was pregnant. And she came to tell us, and, like, she brought, she brought us these cute glasses to say, like, you're going to be a grandparent. And I was not happy. I was not happy at all. I'm not sure how you felt. You were not happy, right? Yeah. Because... She had just gotten out of a relationship six months earlier. She had just met this man six months in a relationship. And she was living at home. And I'm like, you, you, what are you doing? You're waiting tables. Like, you're getting pregnant. And you're coming to us and telling us with all this excitement and joy. And we were not happy. <laughs> we were not happy. But now, he's a good man. He's a good man. She fell in love with her best friend. It happened very fast. It does not happen the way that we would want it to. But I wouldn't trade my grandbaby for the world. I have an amazing grandbaby. Love her to pieces. And he's awesome. I love and him. he's a good person. Yeah. He loves our girls. So sometimes the initial package can look disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't always work out that way. I do know that. It doesn't always work out that way. But give it a second. Give it a second. Well, thank you, Mara. We appreciate that support. Addie is so cute. We love you. She's got my heart, no question. She is the cutest thing. Oh, Tanita, really? Good morning, West Coast Florida Outdoors. Oh, what's up, Salty Siren and Sailor? Yep, she's basically marrying her dad. It's funny. Same belief system. It's hilarious. Thank Thanks you guys for the, for the follows. follows. Good morning, the DJ Johnson. That's old, Tejanita. That's so cool. <laughs> Y'all are all saying, girl, we've been up on Real Topics since 6.45. We done did a whole thing. Ohana? Oh, family. Can be tough. Real True. Apple Jacks, hello. It took me True. a second to process what you were saying. This is happening with Good my morning, son, Abby. but his relationship is toxic. Not sure. Again, you can't save them from themselves. That's the hard part is watching them go through it whenever yeah. they're making crappy decisions. <laughs> I um, love my son-in-law more than my daughter now. That's so funny. Lana, how am I going to feel? My feelings don't matter on that day. Um, I will smile and I will be cordial and polite and I will make sure that my daughter's wedding is perfect. Her mother could say something out of the way to me, and I will be on my best behavior because it's about the kids. It's about her day, and I will make sure that she sees nothing other than happiness and joy. Well, thank you, Cindy. We How do I really feel here. will be another conversation for another day. <laughs> if y'all see me on the news after the wedding, you'll know how I felt. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted them to stay little, but they don't stay little for long. Yeah, there are just some things you have to let them, you know, you never want your kids to get hurt, but that's part of growing and learning, and that's part of life. Oh, Lily, I love that. Support them. What other questions you guys have? I think that they might be done with question time. It's not o'clock. Okay. I get it. I get it. It's about <laughs> think, time to be done. I think it's about time to be done. <laughs> 
Yeah, Courtney. What, how, the, we only we, waited because of the kids. We only waited because of the kids. We would have married each other yeah. right away. Yeah. We um we met in May. Um no, we met in April. We went on our first date May twenty fourth. That was the last time I had. That was my last first kiss. May twenty fourth, two thousand and eleven, and I moved in with you in October because my lease was up on my townhome. Yeah, it didn't make sense to get another lease. That first year was tough. Kel Bell, it's, yeah, it's being, you know, being a parent is selfless. And I chose to be a parent, even though I'm not mom, I still chose to be in that role. I'm still in a mom role. I had them 50% of the time since they were little. So I'm definitely not going to do anything to ruin their day. And the other person has done things to ruin special days a lot. A lot. Um, and we'll talk about those stories in the coming, but that's also why I am so amenable because again, it's not about me. I get my love from him. I get, I get what I need for myself. I don't need to be the center of attention on their special day. It's about them. It's about them. My feelings can wait. I'll handle my crazy later. Yeah, Kurt, I, uh, Mr. Kurt, I agree. I believe that I it's don't. natural. Mm -hmm. It's natural. No, for he says, I think most. all women are, no. are hardwired for motherhood most and it comes women. naturally. I most think women. there's actually a lot of women that should not be mothers. That's different. And they should have never been mothers and they do it anyways to try to fill a hole and then they're bad mothers. That's different from how we are genetically wired. Not something Hilton you head. control. Heidi. It's in the chromosomes. It's in the DNA. Not all, but no. most women are wired towards being gentle and motherly and loving. Okay, that's. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. I, I definitely am a. I am a mother. I have yeah. a mother spirit. I just didn't want any kids. I didn't want that experience. Oh, Melissa says I can't wait to be a mom. I love that. Uh, wait, what's somebody say? Yeah, a lot of women are bad mothers. Not everyone can do it. Good morning, no, Lord. Jess doesn't have any biological children. No, yeah, sorry. That was what I was looking for. Thank you. You saw it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any biological children. It's a choice. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry that your mom's left you whenever you were born. But she got you here first. No, she's preaching facts, Kelbell. Uh, Melanie, I never say oh, never. We kind of do you, our own honey. thing. Got so. you, got you, got you. Well, my mom um, almost aborted me. She already had four children. Everybody told her she should not have another child. How sh how was she going to take care of me? Which was accurate. She should not have been having another child. She literally left the or abortion office. Like she went in to have an abortion and couldn't do it, or else I wouldn't be here. And she did, you know what? I don't fault my mom for anything. It sucks. It sucks. I don't have a mom. I didn't have a mom. I never had a mom. Had a friend. I didn't have a mom. And my mom's passed away now. So my mom's no longer here. Um, and that sucks. But she did the best that she could. It's not, it's not her fault. She did the best that she could do. That's what I will say. Caitlin, we'll be at yes, Disney sir. tonight, just not live. We're having a meal this evening with some special friends, like family. Uh, tomorrow is we have a photo shoot probably at one of the resorts. Thursday, Jeff Jess has a VIP tour. Uh, Friday, we're going yes, to a Chris. party with a bunch of people. Uh, Mickey's not so scary. Then oh, Saturday, oh, there's going to be a big get together at the dance hall with a lot of people are in town. So we won't be live again at Disney until Sunday at some point. Probably Sunday. Hello, afternoon. daughter Amelia. My daughter. That's our daughter. How are Hi, you, baby? baby? How's my grandbaby? After I say uh, hi to you brown first. Brown eyed girl, I am going to eat to the beat, I think. Uh, I don't know what the VIP tour is about. I was invited. Somebody asked if I was scared of church. I don't understand your question. I want to answer it, but I don't understand your question. Melanie, does church scare Jess? I don't understand your question. The short answer, I think, would be no. I'm not afraid of church. I've been really, really hurt by the church, so it doesn't have a place in my life. The physical building of a church doesn't have a place in my life anymore. 
Good morning, Amy Bud. That's not it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that is a weird question. Maybe they just. I don't. I don't funny. think. I think they may just phrased it differently. Right, Haley. Exactly. We're good, Christina. How are you? All right, you guys. It's time for us to log off. We've been on since six forty-five. I hope you're enjoying these mornings. Um, make sure that you are in our Discord, even if you're not in a special group. If you're not a subscriber, that's totally fine. There's still a place for you in Discord. There's a lot of free content that's happening in there. Thanks, our Brian, village Michael. is connecting with each other and talking to each other. Our calendar is also there, so you can sign up there. I put it here on TikTok as well, um, but it usually goes into Discord first. Um, if you are a Salty Siren and Sailor in the private Discord channel, I always put our topics that we're going to talk about ahead of time so you kind of get... Um, Thanks, Abby. Yes, this will be on the tube, but you get to know what we're going to talk about ahead of time. So if you want, again, that exclusive access, that special access, make sure you're joining on um, our site and getting signed up for that sub that's on that's on discount through the end of September. Nine ninety nine Mickey's forever as long Conrad as you get said, signed this up is early. My new Regis and Kathy Lee. I love it. All right, you guys. We love you guys so much. I'll be back on again. Please be patient with me. We'll get back to another live as soon as we can. This week is going to be a crazy, crazy, so crazy week. This week. Um, but it, so it'll be pop up lives. It won't be anything scheduled Thank for the you, rest Christy. of this week. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks, Courtney. And our last marriage live is over on the tube as well from last week if you guys missed it. Love y'all. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.